The whole devil birds was in a big fat stall And then Melton took a vacay and Chet felt real tall Stevie Lou was cool, KB was mopping drool And everyone was talking shit about AC They kicked Gate Baby off Money, liar, sodomy I won the content lottery It all started with my vacay Welcome back to the uh, Nobody Likes Onions program. Aloha, are you? <laughs> I was doing that on the whole plane ride home. Aloha, are you? <laughs> oh, my God. Anyway, welcome uh, to the show. Surprise, I'm back. I know everybody wanted me to die. And crash, but that's not. I'm not Tony Mazur. I'm not afraid of airplanes. That's what came out yesterday. Tony Mazur is afraid to fly. <laughs> Tony Mazur literally goes, Are you afraid to get on planes with all these bolts missing? Yeah, I'm afraid to get on planes. <laughs> You're not going to like the reports on automobiles, Tony. You're not going to like it one bit. I mean, that's the kind of intellect we're dealing with, with Tony Mazur. He's like, I, you couldn't pay me to get on a plane and fly across the country. It's like, well, good. They're not paying people to do that. So, I mean, he's scared to fly in a plane. I mean, way to live life, I guess. Hit the like button. Who's here today doing likes? Why are my headphones all fuckity, fuckity? Anyway, welcome. Everything's stuff might not work today because I just turned it all back on. You know, I was going to play another replay this morning. We may do a one hour show. I'm dead tired and I do need to sleep, but I thought you deserve it. We deserve it as a group. As a group, we deserve it. Also, you know, Chad hates it. Chad's had one full week of unencumbered uh, bravado. You know, him just doing shows. Like, I'm nobody stops me from doing shows. It's like, Chad, when Melton's home, you don't do any shows. When Melton's home, you don't announce shows anymore. It's always going live 20 minutes before. It's like, say whatever you want. You are a terrified, terrified man of the internet. And and what I, what I keep getting the the message that i keep getting from all these fucking losers whether it's chad or mersh or any of these guys the message that constantly keeps coming is like they melton wants to melton wants to fight me but when when we got head to head you know he had nothing to say it's like even brennan was like i mean melton just froze up you know when you're in a roast you gotta go at a guy it's like, i wasn't in a roast as if old man it's like, you let Chad on and Chad has a bunch of feelings. Chad's a hurt man. Chad, like, uh, d describe describe to me what you think Chad's emotions are. I don't know if it's hurt, anger, fear, maybe all three, maybe some sort of mixture of it, but 
that's who acts like that. I have n- I'm not angry at Chad. I'm not hurt by Chad. I don't have any feelings. I'm not trying to cancel Chad. I don't want to ruin Chad. I don't want to neglect Chad. I mean, we're just watching a man who has no ideas or talent and then talking about it. You know, Chad's like, come on, say it to my face. It's like, say hi. You have no talent or ideas to your face? I mean, okay. I mean, I did. I said, I think you're a loser. So, you know, I mean, I I, I can't. <laughs> I don't know what to say. Mersh is the same way. Mersh said, I have a clip. We'll play it later. Mersh goes, Melton's been trying to engage with me for years. Wanting to have a feud with me. I did I, I don't think I knew who Mersh was six months ago. I mean, maybe eight months? I, I'm not sure. Go back. I don't even know who Mersh was. Mersh is on his... This is what he has to tell his fans. Melton's been trying to get me to go back and forth with him for years. Who? I mean, I, I, I look, if something's real, it's real. But I didn't know who this guy was six months ago. I've been trying to go back and forth with you for years. I'm not trying to go back and forth with you now. (laughs) I'm not trying to go back and forth with you now. I don't, all these people think because I, I make fun of what you do that I want to go back and forth. Never bring me up again. I don't give a shit. You know, it's like, it's like, uh, you know, when I was a kid in school and I did a book report on (laughs) Uh, The Diary of Anne Frank. I'll never forget. The next day, Anne Frank tweeted out, Wow, Melton's talking about my diary. I guess he wants to have a back and forth. It's like, no, that was a book report. I was commenting on something I observed. That's what I'm doing with Merce. That's what I'm doing with Chad. (laughs) It's like, no one wants to have a back and forth with Merce. About what? Whether, Whether you think you're a loser or not, no thanks. Hit the like button. We're doing it. I don't even remember how to do this anymore. Did you guys like my custom song? I whipped that up like 30 minutes ago. And then, of course, we had a flop. But I thought it was great. For middle of the night singing voice, I thought I whipped that up great. The whole dabble verse was in a big fat stall. And then Melton took a vacay and Chad felt real tall. Stevie Lou was cool, KP was mopping drooling, and everyone was talking shit about AC. They kicked Gate Baby off. Money liar sodomy. I won the content lottery. It all started with my vacay. I thought it was great. I didn't have time to whip up a, a video with imagery for it. That would have been the ideal thing. But look, it's uh, it's um, it's early. I'm tired. We've had about enough. Oh no! I would never want to fight you, brother. <laughs> you and I are the lords of Vegas. How was the free slot play down on the islands of Hawaii? There's no slot. Did you win more money than you have ever seen before in your entire There's life? There's no casinos in Hawaii. Uh, in Hawaii. In Hawaii. <laughs> oh, no. The harsh realization of what it is to be a guy slowly closed in on him until all his gigs were gone and he was mocked by his former comrades on the daily <laughs> fish lunch. Fish lunch. We got a fish lunch. Oh, good. Everything's working. Wow. Everything's working. April looks like a really cool bird. <laughs> I got so many new memes to load in. I got so many things to catch up on today. Maybe we'll just end it now, huh? Melton. <laughs> I'm speaking to you from beyond the grave. No. I sadly passed away after being beaten by quad father. God fucking damn it. I thought I wouldn't have to see your stupid ass face again. Get out of my hell, Dad. <laughs> Melt and I'm glad you are back. Mm. I'm glad I'm back, too. This was in the machine. This was in the super chat machine when I got here. If you send in a piggy piggy chat, I will sing it. I will sing it uh, for you. Piggy, piggy, Chad, where are you? Is your boyfriend Mazer? Piggy, piggy, Chad, where are you? Confusing yourself with Elvis. Oh, yeah. His mom wanted to name him after Elvis. 
but then she named him Chad. Get it? I think that's the whole story. We're all the bigger, darker Pang Dangs. Uh, we're all the bigger, darker Pang Dangs. Nice to you in Hawaii. No, but me and my wife were playing this game uh, over there called Trans or Not. You know, what is it about the Hawaiian women that just look, you know, no offense to Kitty Pineapple. If I could, then I would. But they're all very masculine like that. You'll get like a Hawaiian woman. I swear to God, it's jarring. The masculine features, they all have mustaches. You know, I don't I don't know. It's disgusting and I didn't like it and I didn't care for it. Anyway, you know, I, I Kevin's right. I'm home and uh we've got to pay for this trip somehow, so hit the like button. I will be taking all these likes to the bank later. Who's doing likes today? I guess Fearless is slacking. She said she doesn't get paid enough. Trans Hawaiian sounds like an airline. That's good. Italian Stallion, you do uh, likes today. You're in charge of the likes. You're in charge of the likes. Oh, I forgot we have to go over here. Lady Slug, member for nine months. New phone, who dis? Mason in Portland, a.k.a. Portland Shane Gillis, gifted one membership. It, Mason in Portland is like Joey C's um, consigliere. <laughs> Isn't Mason in Portland like Joey C's um, escort everywhere? Look, I, I, I don't, I'm going to be the first one to tell you. Phone lines are, hold on, let me open them. I think uh, El Harible. El Harible. How do you, is that French? Uh, he's going to call in and give me the lowdown on Joey C. I don't know. Joey C's trying to start a new arc today. I mean, it's just one of the dumbest guys. I mean, one of the dumbest guys with one of the dumbest bitches. You get, you got to ask yourself, like, who's running the show over there? Christina C or Joey C? It's like two different, um, retarded people fighting over who's smarter. And you got to wonder, like, who comes up with these storylines? So I don't even know what's going on. Again, please, please call in. Fill me in on things that have been happening when I'm missing. I have no show prep today. And when I say that, by the way, it means I have, you know, 200% more show prep than the rest of the people. Um, I have funny videos. People have sent me that have nothing to do with this that I'd love to watch with you. Because who doesn't need just a palate cleansing laugh? And then, of course, I have a Gino clip. I have KB stuff I want to watch. I got a, a Zumok flashback. If we want to, I have a training Tuesday someone sent in that I found great that we might do. I have no plan for today, and I have no, um, I have no uh, ideas on what to do. So I'll let you kind of guide it. If you want to call in and talk, 323-825-4990. 323 323-825-4990. I know all the uh, shit you've been waiting to talk for a week, you know. And I got to get that clip, by the way. If somebody can pull Chad's show from yesterday afternoon. Ch uh, Chad yesterday. I'm not even kidding. It's, it's the line of the week as far as I'm concerned. I need this clip. Chad literally goes, Melton's in Hawaii right now. His life sucks. I'm not kidding. He always, I mean, he really said those words. And then you saw it on his face as soon as he said it. Like, oh, that was stupid to say. Melton's in Hawaii right now. His life sucks. <laughs> I, I mean, I can't. I can't. I don't even know. I don't even know what to do. Uh, Brad Thacker says it's Joe Howard time. It most certainly isn't. And way to read a room. I mean, look, I, I'm back. I have a full plate. We're getting caught up on stuff. And you think, ah, Joe Howard. No, no, it isn't. <laughs> I mean, it really is. I don't need any help programming this show. You know, I don't care if you're Sheila aliens, Cardiff's kids, or God. It does always seem to be the women who want to program the show. Men want to complain and fight and bitch and be, be women. And women want to be men and program my show. You know what we should do? No one cares. No one cares. Shh, pipe down. 
Pipe down. Oh, wait, that was Brad Thacker. That's not a woman. <laughs> Maybe it is. Maybe it is. Um, It sucks to go to Hawaii with your best gal. I trust nothing in the world, even with receipts. I mean, okay, I don't know what to tell you. <laughs> I guess don't trust anything. Anyway, I'm back, and you're back, and uh, thanks for being here. Let's talk about it. Drew gifted one membership. Wow. Wow, that really feels nice. Uh, all right, I think we got Tuki. Hello? Or, or El Haribla. You don't have to do the I don't know what voice you want to do. <laughs> Hello? 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 Oh, God. Pick a voice. Hey. <laughs> Sorry. I was trying to hook it up to my board and something went wrong. How are you, Melton? Welcome back from Hawaii. Hello, how are you? <laughs> Hello, how are you? Oh, this is fantastic. Uh, you what trademark that immediately. What's uh, going on with uh, Joey C? Give us the rundown here, because this is like the past 24 hours. Yes. Uh, so last night, Tukey was filling in for the very fat, very ugly potato Cardiff for subreddit surfing. And all of a sudden, I started getting text messages from Joey C. But it was not from Joey C. It was from Mrs. C. Mm. And she said, my husband, Joey had a heart attack, a major heart attack two hours ago, and he's in a coma. And uh, he always liked you, blah, blah, blah. And uh, Tuki immediately did not believe it. I know and that. I announced it. I know that if my significant other has a heart attack, the first thing I do yeah. is text her internet yeah. fans. <laughs> yes, yes. And keep engaging with me. She was always answering me. Everything was good. And I will say, whoever was texting from Joey's number, it was not Joey because they were far better at spelling and sentence structure and all that. So I do believe I was talking to Mrs. C. I don't know. They got um, those chat apps now where the AI corrects everything and makes it nice. This is very true. So I, I don't know. I could be fooled. But so uh, she yeah, wants you to believe oh, she wants well. you to believe that that Joey had a heart attack, and it's because of again, I guess the stress. Oh, oh. yes, yeah, stuttering. That's the other thing. In the first text, speaking of you know things to worry about, she did put at the end of the text, "I blame this on stuttering John." Mm. <laughs> so lawsuits are are coming down the pike, I believe. I, um, I, I'm getting, I ask, there's too much real content. I don't know why. So this thing with you and the potato is like another fake work thing. <laughs> yeah, no, that's, don't worry about that. That was just entertainment. Yeah, Moving I know, but it's Joey. like, why does everybody keep making up these fake fights when there's enough real fights? <laughs> it's like, I, I can't I, keep I, up. I agree. I agree. I agree. Listen, they're not, you know, they're not all home runs. What can I do? <laughs> um, so... I asked her, can I announce this on subreddit surfing? Of course she said yes. So I did. And I also said, I don't know. I don't believe this is real. Send me a photo. Just, so a, just a, a, very quick, a quick question. If she would have said no, please don't share this. I mean, like, who cares? Just share oh, it. No. Exactly. No, I would have. I, I tried to be nice, you know, I, but yes, I would have announced it anyway. Um, so she sent us a stock photo of someone on a gurney that you can't make them out. We did a, a back trace on the photo and it was on the Washington post and all these major websites. Got it. So that was a fake photo. Well, she are you, are you saying that if Joey C went into the hospital, it wouldn't be in the Washington post? <laughs> well, I mean, that is a very good point. You know, I, I forget. I, I often forget about his stardom. Um, so she said, sorry about sending the fake photo, but I had to because I couldn't send a, a real photo or something. I, it's, it's all stupid, Melton. We're dealing with very stupid people here. But then, um, but then she posted but then this picture of him like that was uh, yeah. years old from when he got stabbed by his own daughter. Well, apparently. But <laughs> Melton, I mean, we could do four hours just analyzing this video, this uh, picture. I where, mean, Where is the picture? Where can I find it? Um, I sent it to you in your uh, yeah. Twitter DM. Hold on. Let me go. I got to log into Twitter now. But yeah, there is so much in this picture. Someone sent me some kind of proof that this picture is involved with the stabbing of daughter two or whatever. Um, and, uh, but it looks very fake. 
I'm going to show my inbox so everybody can uh, speculate on what's going on with me. I have your permission to show your DMs? Oh, of course. <laughs> okay. People are going to see my thing and they're going to go, wow, he's got, oh, no. Oh, no, I don't have any, uh, I can't share my desktop. What's going on? Fuck. I got to play your two, be right back. Okay. Um, let me see if this works now. Yeah, there we go. People are going to see my inbox. I have messages from Stevie Lou. Oh. Uh, Husey, Ari Jane, Pat Dixon, and Corn Diff. That's who I'm talking to. You run with a rough crowd. Um, so this says Hernando, Can but this is a photo. This photo is from 2016. That's what someone's saying. I mean, if you do look at the photo, I mean, Joey does look much younger. Uh, I don't know if he had a heart attack while he was dying his hair. <laughs> he has absolutely yeah. no gray hairs. The his mustache seems to be growing over the tape that is slicing through his nostril. Yeah. And oh yeah, that I is weird. Why? That's crazy. They tucked it under his little flange there. <laughs> Yeah, or or it's sliced right through, um, and I don't necessarily I don't know if there's actually a tube in it. I don't know what we're looking at here. His head is wrapped up like he fell off a cliff, like the wily e. coyote. Yeah, what is this oxygen thing that goes nowhere? Kind of. Yeah, it goes nowhere. Well, Why is there in nothing the in his nose? Corner of his mouth, or uh... well, there's always something in your nose when you go to the hospital. Yeah, you know? cocaine. <laughs> sure. What is that crosshair in the top right corner? Um. Uh, oh, wow. So she took a picture of a monitor. What is the date? 420. Now, someone said that could be a coma rating or something. I don't know. No, it's April 20th, right? <laughs> That's what it would assume. 420, yo. Oh, my God. People are saying it's AI. <laughs> I thought it was AI, too, but then I got that intel that this is a picture from, like, 2000, 16. you know, whenever his daughter played Stabby Stabby. Imagine that. Heather Cantalotto got into a fight with her father. Imagine stabbing your whole family and putting them all in the hospital. Oh, I think about it every day, Melton. And then the, they're they're like oh, counting down, counting down the days till she gets gets out. Like they're gonna welcome her into that. Sa are, yeah, is she gonna move into go? that brick apartment above the salon? Oh God, we're gonna have a new character. She's gonna have a show. She immediately has a show on the Catalano TV network. I don't. I actually don't want to fuck with her because she is violent. You know, she's the opposite of Joey C. Oh. She does what she says she's gonna do. This is true. You're right. Joey well, C's never dead. stabbed anybody, but his daughter, I think his daughter would get on a bus and come here and kill me. Oh, God, what if he starts sending her out to do jobs on all of us? Wasn't she a teenager when this happened? I don't know. Maybe, I mean, hopefully jail has mellowed her out and she's going to be like, I don't want to go back to that. But well, We can only hope, but uh, yeah, I'm now worried. I haven't thought about this. The oh. Catalanos could definitely send her out to do their hits. So you have you have messages with her, um, and these say, "Hold on, let me just pull what you've shared up here." It this, might be out of order. This is Miss C, <laughs> the substitute teacher. Uh, my husband is in a coma. He had a major heart attack two hours ago. I'm blaming all this on stuttering John. And then you said, can I announce this? That you're not, not, I hope he's okay. Your first thought is, can I tell people? <laughs> yes. Uh, I was like, well, that's the other thing. I was literally on subreddit surfing with Vinny Paulino. Get your tickets March, March 9th, subreddit surfing.com. Uh, and yes, I, like, I was like, wow, this is weird timing. Can I announce this? Um, I hope he's okay is the third thought. The first thought is, can I share this? The second thought is, I don't believe you. And the third thought is, I hope he's okay. <laughs> and then and then she says, you may announce it. Please just pray for my husband. Pray. 
I know he yes. really liked you and took you a lot. And if we know anything, the power of prayer. Yes. Joey C loves the power of prayer. So this is the photo him on the in the with the paramedics. Yes, with that, you know, burst effect that she added to the photo real yeah, quick. Vignetting. It it's dramatic. very nice. It's like an Aron- Yeah, the vignette. <laughs> an Aronofsky film. Okay. Notice there are no uh, Guido rings on his fingers. And then uh, you said he has the love and support of the dabble verse. Uh, yes. She says, I sent you that picture because I can't send the real picture. I'm sending you a picture of what paramedics and a sick guy looks like because I can't. <laughs> yes, in case, just in case I don't know what it looks like when someone is rushed to the hospital. I'm surprised you didn't put in parentheses below it. Dramatization. <laughs> <laughs> I just wanted you to know what it looks like for a man to be on a stretcher with paramedics. I can send you th- he's yeah. this is similar to what he's going through right now. But I couldn't send <laughs> you the real. I I'm here this, and I have my phone, but I can't take a picture of what's happening around me. I sent this stock photography just to illustrate yeah. the mood. Uh I'm so ma'am, I'm so your, lost. Your, ma'am, your husband is in horrible condition. Hold on real quick. I need to Google a stock photo. I sent you that picture because I can't send the real pictures. I'm so lost. Her sorry about the picture, Miss C. What? And you said, stop it, Joey. This isn't funny. And then she says, how dare you say this to me? My husband is laying in the hospital in a coma. (laughs) And you call me a liar. Is he in a coma or did he have a heart attack? Well, he had a heart attack, and I guess they had to put him into a coma. Cardiac arrest induced a coma. (laughs) Well, he obviously hit his head because he had to have his head all bandaged up. And then you said, show me the body. And then you said, if this is real, I'm sorry, but forgive me for being cautious, which is, uh, that's a line too far for me. You, you think this might be real? No, well, I'm trying. I'm, I don't know. I'm... And then you said, oh, wow, this is serious because she sent the old photo of him finally. Um, yes. The fans are demanding to donate. Let us know when you have a link. I'm getting DMs asking me where to support. Is he dead yet? We've set up a GoFundMe. We're at 5K, but we have to figure out how to get this uh, directly to the hospital. Give me the info. She'll lose her mind for 5K. Well, that's what I'm hoping. So, but wasn't he live so, this yeah. morning? His morning, I saw his morning show is live right before I went live. Yeah, but that's not, isn't that <clears throat> that other, uh, that guy? KY or the other one? Uh, oh, yeah, Kai and Lou. But Lou left, right? Uh, I, I've never listened. I, I have think, no idea. But yeah. I don't think that's Joey C in the morning. Catalano TV has a harder time holding on to talent than than uh, the Shuley Network. It's, tough. it's a tough industry. It's mm. tough. It's competitive. Uh, anything else I missed that I should be aware of? I don't think so. Uh, prayers to Joey C. And, uh, you know, I mean, what that's is, it. What hey, is, is this game? Meany- is- <laughs> I don't know. I-, I guess everyone was giving attention to Carl and his dad and the medical thing. Yeah. Like the whole cancer thing. Right. So I guess he was jealous and he wanted to, to get some juice, as they say, the kids. Yeah, I just, like, he can't focus on anything for long term, so it's, like, it's too much. It's, like, a whirlwind of nonsense. It's, uh, it's ridiculousness. It's a cesspool of ridiculousness. Okay, what about Kate Meany? All right, I gotta go to work now. What'd you say about Kate Meany? Oh, uh, Kate Meany. Is that Kate Meany? That Kate Meany, uh, Twitter is, uh, obvious parody right the new one or is yeah, that really her? yeah i mean it cl- it's clearly parody i love people think it's my some guy was like this is melton's parody account it's like i don't i'm not sure how to get this across to you idiots i have no parody accounts i have no alts <laughs> you're all retarded again a thousand dollars to anyone catching me on an alt <laughs> i mean really really <laughs> good luck you fucking idiots i don't have alts i don't have time to run a parody account Exactly. Uh, fucking All insane. Right. But it, yeah, it is a parody account. Kate Meany 3 on Twitter. <laughs> it's hilarious. All so right. whoever made it is hilarious. Thank you all. I love you more than friend Melton. See you soon. See you in AC. Bye. We're all going to AC. We're all going to AC. These lights will guide me home. 
The bubble got the bubble got the bubble got rocking to the beat. The bubble got rocked me to my very beat. <laughs> Aloha, are you? I hope you were able to scam tens of dollars of free slot play from those islanders down in Hawaii. There's no... Hopefully you took my hot slot tips to heart and won more money than you have ever seen in your entire life. I have it. Pot awful one. Pot, Pot awful one. awful Blay one. Blay by D-do. Pot awful one. Yeah, so I do have this clip. Copy link URL. Paste link URL. I found this clip. Someone sent, oh, uh, fake Mersh on Twitter tweeted this. Again, it's just wild. So we, I, I just discovered Mersh. I mean, for people who don't believe this, it's like, again, I, thank God everything's recorded. I didn't know who Mersh was a minute ago. And then we find out about Mersh. I realized I met this guy a decade ago, 2012 or 13 or something, when he tried to get me to go with him at 2 a.m. to have steaks and pussy. <laughs> So I realize it's the same guy, only he's fat now. He used to be really thin when I met him. That's why I didn't recognize him. So I've known about him for six months. Now Mersh is like, Melton's been trying to feud with me for years. I mean, this is what these guys do. They have to make it way worse than it is, and that tells you how they're feeling it. That tells you how they're receiving it. You feel it with Chad, too. You, you feel it with Kate Meany, too. Kate Meany and Kevin, they all feel things so deeply. These, these comedians who profess to be the hardest guys in the world are hurt over and over and over again by words, by simple words. They, they let you know. It, it'd be like if you threw a water balloon at me and then every time I left my house from now on, I wore a bulletproof vest. And you go, why did they do that? And they go, well, last time I left the house, they were, they were, you know, they had RPGs. And you know very well that it was water balloons. And they know very well that it was water balloons. But you are feeling it like it's RPGs. And now you might be saying, Patrick, what's a bulletproof vest going to do against an RPG? I didn't say there was any logic to it. But they tell you how it feels by how they react. Chad is very angry and upset. Chad cannot stop screaming. I'm not, I'm not upset about Chad. I'm not hurt by Chad, and I'm not threatened by Chad. It's, again, why Chad wants to come on and scream at me, and I don't have anything to say to Chad. And, and, and idiots and weaklings will interpret that as, wow, Melton really froze up. It's like, I don't. Chad's not a serious guy to me. Chad's like a complete loser. Like, we want to laugh at Chad. We don't, I don't want to sit down and have dinner with Chad. Uh, this is what idiots think. Yeah, I want to talk to Chad. I'd like to really get to the bottom. It's, it, that'd be like having a serious conversation with Ray. No, I'll clink a beer and wish him well. You know, no, no one's scared of Chad. But all these guys, they have to do it. Mersh, you know, Mersh, we've watched, what, five shows of his and made fun of him? Clips? And Mersh comes out and tells you, Melton's been trying to get me to feud with him for years. I mean, that's what he's feeling. That's what Mersh is feeling. Tough guy Mersh, who's been, who's been doing this forever. And, and, uh, and uh, bigger guys than you have tried to bring me down. I've done nothing to Mersh. I haven't, I've never talked directly to Mersh. I've never challenged Mersh. I've never said, meet me outside, Mersh. Come fight. Uh, let's do a head-to-head -head battle on comedy. Let's uh, see who shows better. I don't give a fuck who shows better. I don't give a fuck who shows more popular, who has more viewers. I don't even care. Who cares? Who cares? We're making fun of you because you act insane. But that's not what Merce feels. You know, people make fun of me because I act insane all the time. People talk shit about me. Yeah, fair enough. You don't have to like me. As a matter of fact, it's the internet. I'd be I'd be worried if everyone was into me, that's not how things are supposed to work. And I'd be like, let me out of this version of the simulation. Of course people don't like me. Of course people hate me. Of course people talk shit. Of course people lie. Of course people make shit up. And of course people feel too much. I don't care. You're allowed to do a show about me. Have fun. Chad, if you do a show about him, he'll try to find the show, take it down live while you're watching it. Mm, they better not talk about me. You know. 
He feels it all. He's very, very emotional. He's very hurt. You know, and again, because it's all true. No matter what anybody says about me, if it's not true, why would I get upset? You know, people are like, wow, Melton's 400 pounds. He's been doing this for 20 years. He only has 300 fans. It's like, I mean, none of that's true. So good luck. Good luck making it hurt me. It's like the guy who photoshopped my head on like the fattest guy Hawaii has. And he posts that up and he's like, wow, Melton. It's like, do you think that hurts me? You made it up. <laughs> I'm very fat. I am very fat. But you photoshopped my head on a on a hugely obese fat guy. And then you put it up like that's going to burn Melton. Uh-huh. Uh-huh. I mean, okay, okay. Whatever you want to make, uh, I, I mean, this is the this is the saddest part of it. It makes them feel better. Not only does it not hurt me, <laughs> it makes them feel better. You'll never see me coming on here going like, people are photoshopping me on Twitter. That's about enough. That's about enough. Knock it off, fellers. <laughs> like, who gives a shit? Photoshop and tag away. I mean, who cares? Who cares? It doesn't make it true. The sad part of it is when it makes you feel better. Whoever that is, photoshopping. Like, look, some of it's just funny, so I'm into it. But the ones who are, like, doing it to actually try to get me, it's like, when you photoshop that, when you finish it, do you go, like, <laughs> that's melting. I mean, how does it work? How does it work? I I'd love to know. I'd love to know how you get to a place where you've deluded yourself so much that things you know you made up make you feel better. Because that's where we're at. That's where we're at with Chad. That's where we're at with Mersh. Mersh wants to tell you Melton's been trying to feud with me for years. I'll wait. I'll wait. If anyone can find me talking about Mersh, before someone brought it to my attention six months ago, and when I say six months, I'm estimating. I don't know what it was. Eight months, four months, whatever it was. Someone pointed me to that documentary. That's when I found out about merch. Remember, I thought it was merch. <laughs> merch is like, no, Melton's been coming after me for years because it feels that way to him. I I I've made fun of four clips, and he's so hurt and self-conscious He's, he's got to reflect it back out to you like, he's been coming after me for years. He's been coming at me for years. It's like, okay, okay. I mean, did it make you feel better to lie to yourself? No one else believes it. No one in my community believes it. They know. They know when I discovered Merch. So I guess maybe some of his fans are buying it. I, I don't know. If, if I've been trying to feud with you for years, you would have brought it up before, right? Is there an old clip of Mersh talking about Melton? I mean, I, I, don't even, I don't even know. So watch this clip. This is Mersh uh, just bathing in his own fucking cope, which is unreal to me. Um, here we go. <laughs> First of all, he's stealing my, my thumbs up fireworks. <laughs> Oh, he got so mad at that one. I wrote, people have been trying to destroy me for years and failing, and you aren't going to be the one, I assure you. Like, I'm going to lose my shit to Zero Dark Tony. I'd rather hand ROTC Media to Jesse from Pot Awful. I'd rather hand him the keys to the company than even have even Zero Dark Tony think for a moment that he's... He talks like one of these riding the bus with my sister retards. He thinks, he thinks for, if he for one, you know, Stevie wondering the mic, he, he wants to, he, he, <laughs> <laughs> that's Mersh. It's like, what is with his thing where he has to constantly look up like a retard? Uh, he, ha, ha. Very, very good. My fake cough turned into a real cough there. <laughs> Apologies. He's gonna fucking dunk on me. I mean, everyone's dunking on you. <laughs> Whoa. Hold on. He just took a, a drink of scotch. 
And now he's drinking the world's tiniest beer. I mean, first of all, this is the beers the Tijuana hookers drink when you go when you go to a Hong Kong bar. You ever, you ever been to one of those? You ever been to one of those Tijuana hooker bars where the uh, hookers, you, they'll ask you to buy them a drink? And then when you buy them a drink, they get a tiny little beer. They don't get the same beer as you. And if you ever look at the label, it has like 0.5% alcohol. It's so the girls don't get drunk and they can drink all night. And the beers cost the same, so the bar is making money. I mean, where do you get a baby beer like that? <laughs> where do you get a beer that's half the length of a head of a man's head? I mean, holy shit. Um hold on. Carl is doing a live show with this guy. I mean, look, Carl's gonna get ratings and merch is gonna get uh, made fun of by everybody. That's fine. Uh, Carl's allowed to work with whoever he wants. We're working with Carl. Did you know Hackamania is official? Sorry, week time out, week time out. Hackamania is official May 31st through June 2nd. Pat Dixon, uh, Tukey, who are these podcasts? Myself. Um, and possibly Ray DeVito. I, I haven't really uh, decided. Possibly Ray DeVito. Um, and and more names hopefully added in the near future. Tickets are going to be on sale in just over a week. And I'm supposed to apologize, I think, to, uh, to Carl because I misspoke on the last show. And Carl uh, messaged me. I was out on my yacht in Hawaii. And Carl was like, hey, why did you tell people I said this? I, I, I must have misspoke or I, or I miscommunicated. Carl never asked me to hold off ticket sales until March. What I meant to say was like, he probably would like me to hold off ticket sales until after that event, but I can't, you know, obviously can't do that. Carl has an event March 22nd in Florida. And then Carl's also going to do a show at uh, Vegas Hackamania in, uh, in June. So there'll be two totally very different shows, you know, but he doesn't want to cannibalize his plugs by plugging Vegas yet. When he's got Florida to plug. And I understand that. And that makes perfect sense. And I'm happy to hold off sales for a week or two uh, to help him to that end. But if you're a Who Are These Podcasts fan, uh, you know, they'll be very different shows. Uh, the one in Vegas and the one in uh, Florida. So, uh, you know, you don't have to pick one. Uh, obviously, people on the West Coast are more likely to come to this one. People on, in Florida are more likely to go to the Florida one. So be it. But I didn't mean to imply that Carl asked me to hold off ticket sales till uh, March, even though I may have actually said those words. I don't even know. But I do want to apologize. I didn't mean to put words in Carl's mouth. Carl's content gave his dad cancer. Yeah, so what happened? Uh, Carl's dad has cancer and Stuttering John keeps talking about it. I don't know. People on Twitter are like, what do you think about John going after Carl's dad with cancer? It's like, I don't care. I mean, look, everyone thinks – weak people who are hurt again it's chad and mersh and all these guys think that that's how you hurt people i'm gonna talk about melton's wife it's like do it and what and what we didn't notice we didn't even notice i woke up one morning and people were like wow chad doxed your wife on uh on twitter this morning but it's already gone and i was like oh i didn't know we were asleep i didn't know you know what happened nothing <laughs> not nothing first of all half the people who think they know who my wife is don't know who my wife is second of all uh people think they know a lot of other information that they know like that you couldn't be more wrong about but i don't even care like keep getting it wrong keep getting it wrong i don't care i've told you all before go get her <laughs> you know you fucking idiots go get her i've told chad this before he forgot because chad's on a loop Chad, Chad's on a content carousel, you know, Red Bar, Legion of Skanks, Melton's wife, Melton used to run off the internet, Melton's the, Melton never, like he just keeps forgetting that he's already tried this. You've already tried to go after my wife. Go get her, dummy. I'm not kidding when I say this. You couldn't hurt anyone. <laughs> you can't. Go for it. No one's flinching. No one's complaining. No one's bitching. Ruin me. <laughs> you 
Fucking idiots. It lets you know they're hurt. It lets you know they're hurt. I don't, I don't go. And, and also the, you know, the term going after it's like, well, you're going after Kate Meany's mom. It's like, no, I'm not. What did I do to Kate Meany's mom? I'll wait. What did I do to Kate Meany's mom? Mention her daughter. What did I do to Kate Meany? Mention her mother. Did I go after her? Did I even talk? To, I'm not even talking to her. How do you go after somebody when you're not even aimed in that direction? Kate Meany tells you that her mommy don't like her doing this. Kate Meany brought her mommy into this universe. And by the way, if you're ever thinking about being in a relationship, just a warning sign to all the, to all the future suitors out there who think she's so hot you can't get enough. This bitch, I mean, cannot shut up about her personal information. This bitch cannot shut the fuck up about her personal information. Dog whistle to harass her. I mean, that's just you. That's just you, dog. I mean, that, I mean, that just tells me what kind of a guy you are, if that's what you hear in that. You know, you're the same idiot who when Trump was like, make your way peacefully and lawfully down to the whatever. You know, and everybody was like, mm, I know what he meant. It's like, okay. I mean, then we're done communicating. We're done communicating as a people. If you are allowed to assign whatever intent and meaning you think to words. I mean, someone can literally say the opposite of something and you go, he meant the opposite though. It's like, it's what you get when you look up literally in the dictionary. Now it literally can mean literally or not literally literally is definition. Now officially in the dictionary is not literally. So we've, we've, as a human race, we've just skied off the edges of the slope. You know what I mean? Fucking hell. Uh, Matthew Perry's bloated corpse. Let's see that uh, shirt size tag, buddy. 435 pounds. Do you think shirt tags say your weight? But sick, sick burn. Uh, Steve C., $5. Chad uses Photoshop to put Kevin's face all over his stepdad. I mean, yeah. I mean, that. But this is what I, I, I've handed the playbook to Chad. Stop worrying about other people and improve your own show. Get that studio of yours done. Start those new show ideas you've been talking about. Do anything to help you be better. But the sad, sad reality of, of it is Chad doesn't have anything. Chad, Chad doesn't know how to build a studio. And he didn't realize that until after he bought a mouse pad. He got that mouse pad and that keyboard, and he was like, ah, oh, fuck, now what? <laughs> now what do I do? How do I build a studio? I don't even know fucking how to do it. So he has no idea what he's doing. He has no idea how to do it. And instead of that, in lieu of that, making his kind of, it's like uh, Steel Toe. You know, God forbid you, you improve your show. The look of it, the functionality of it, the... Uh, the, you know, segments, you know, the ability to put comments up, take calls. No, they're all on their phone taking calls. You know, like, it's just, what are you, Keanu cast? Shout out. <laughs> I mean, just no, never improve, never get better, and keep talking shit about everybody else. Chad's entire success depends on other people going away or quitting. Ray, just quit. It's like Ray makes way more money than you. Ray does way more comedy than you. Ray actually has a semblance of a career. You know, I mean, Chad, Chad's wallowing in a puddle of pity, telling everyone else to go away and quit. Because that's the only way Chad's going to shine and rise to the top, is if everyone who's better than Chad goes away. And he can't stop doing shows about it, yelling, go away, quit, just go away. It's like, I mean, that's not going to happen, Chad. You might have to do something you might actually have to step it up a notch and do something something try anything no 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 i'd rather tell you that melton got run off the internet five years ago first of all it was nine years ago now nine so keep it going <laughs> i mean holy shit one person gets run off the internet now Yesterday, from Hawaii, I made you forget what you were doing on your show. 25 minutes in, we started sniping Chad, and this is what Chad turned into. <sighs> I don't know what I'm, I'm, out, I'm out of it today. I don't know what I, because he couldn't stop reading Melton's chat. 
That was with Maze. I mean, so so say whatever you want. One of us got run off the internet yesterday, Chad. <laughs> um, X M M M. Uh, new member. Thank you, Tiff. Gifting five memberships. Thank you very much, Tiff. I'm so happy to be back to the cheese. <laughs> uh, DK, $10. Did you see Dog the Bounty Hunter in Hawaii? I heard he's up for a role in the next Cool Cat movie. Now, I did see some production, uh, but I didn't see any of the production unit signs, so I don't know what the fuck it was. It was right on the water on the North Shore. I don't know what they were filming. Something crazy. I did see Matthew McConaughey. Matthew McConaughey. Huh? I am a very tough round man. However, Jesse P.S. from Pod Awful got me to take my chat off the screen because he called me fat and made fun of That's my dead true. tooth. That's true. That's true. Definitely don't look into my fluffed rumble numbers. That's true. He won't put his chat. First of all, putting your chat on the screen is retarded. But Mersh used to have a little box. He used to have, like, right here, there would be a little box in this area of the, of the screen that would show his chat scrolling as his... Now, look, nobody does that but cam girls and, um, you know, e-whores. But Mersh also did it. And the minute he had so many more people making fun of him than supporting him... He had to hide it and make it go away. All these guys, same with uh, Mubi. It's why Mubi won't put super chats up on the screen because he skips the ones he doesn't like. He he doesn't read the ones he doesn't agree with. If you're mean to April or mention Ashley LaRue or something about Melton he doesn't agree with, he pull, he won't show it. So that's why he doesn't show anything at all. And these guys, they build their own world made of lies. And it's the worst part of, of it, again, is that it soothes them. I, I, I re Unless you're, I think we're going to make a new rule that you can't pretend to be somebody else in our chat, just like on Discord. It's like we don't want to have a fake Stevie Lou and a real Stevie Lou. We want Stevie Lou. And we don't want to, we don't want to, you know, Brad Thacker or uh, Jeru or Chad. I think we probably will will institute a rule just like we have on Discord where you can't imitate like a known person in our chat. We don't want even a fake flat cat or a flake, fake DK or any of that stuff. Like it, it just that's a good rule. Be yourself even if that yourself is a fake persona that you've invented just to cut down on on confusion. So those are like the kinds of rules we have. Spamming, uh doxing, and possibly imitating somebody else. Um, even though I'm the one who told people to go out and be fake, nobody likes onions is. So, you know, I, I, that's why we don't have that rule yet. I'm just thinking about it. I don't know if that's a good rule or not. I welcome your feedback. On the Discord, I think, I think it's fine. But I, I don't know if we should be doing that uh, in, our, in our chat room on YouTube. Maybe we will, maybe we won't. Right now we have two rules. Don't be repetitive and just keep spamming. And don't dox. Aside from that, anybody's allowed to say anything. And they do. Do you think people in my chat don't rip me all day, every day? Yes, they do. But they are cornerstones of my community. And they watch every day. I, you know, I, I don't know what I would do without the people in my chat room every day saying, like, this sucks. This is dumb. <laughs> it's like, yeah, but you're here. It's like, if you're here and this sucks and is dumb, I mean, how much more must everything else in your life suck and be dumb? So I, I don't know, and I don't care. As long as you're here, hating it every day, every morning, um, you, you're welcome. You're welcome here to do that. You don't have to like me. It doesn't affect my happiness. You, me sucking and being awful also shouldn't affect your happiness. You know, only let it... Only let it land on you lightly and then dust it off, you know. Don't let it affect your day. Like, God, Melton, that's such a bad show. It's like, I mean, don't do laps about it. Just just laugh at it and, and make fun of me and move on. So, I don't know. Ball Powder says cope. 
Yeah. I mean, I, I again, yeah, you're allowed to think that. Do you, what do you think I'm going to do? Ban you for saying that? It is not cope. Ban. <laughs> I mean, not, like, yeah, sure. Sure. Everything is cope, right? If I come in here and go, nobody makes fun of me in my chat, that's cope. If I come in here and go, people make fun of me in my chat and I'm fine with it, that's cope. <laughs> if I come in here and go, people make fun of me in my chat and I'd rather not have that, that's cope. Yeah, everything's cope. <laughs> everything's cope, man. Uh, welcome to the show. <laughs> welcome to the fucking show. I can't. I can't. That just shows you. People go like, you suck Shuli's ass. Then people literally in the same chat room go, wow, you're sucking up to KB. It's like, okay. I mean, that lets you know. <laughs> oh, my goodness, huh? Are we doing it or are we doing it? Did did Melton come back as a life coach, motivational speaker? No, I'm just like, you know. I mean, what are you going to? Chad ba Chad and KB are such pussies. Again, I never knew that it was going to be this way. All these tough comics are like lying to themselves to make themselves feel better. Oh, wow. Ten gifted memberships. Look who we got. Little Lemmy. Who I, you know, if I ever run into Little Lemmy, I'm buying her a drink. I owe her a drink. And all of her illegitimate children. And all their baby daddies. What is that? Like 19 drinks? <laughs> uh, just for the Little Lemmy Kate Meany situation. I mean, holy shit. It's so funny because Kate Meany is like a ch Literally, you know, I'm starting to agree with KB. She might be a child. You know, mentally, 100%. Watching little Emmy just say to her, like, uh, <laughs> little Emmy said to her, <laughs> I'm an adult. Like, I've lived life. Like, like Kate Meany is still, like, hanging out at her mom's house, you know. And by the way, it's not going well. I mean, the only reason we know anything about Kate Meany's mom is because she said it. She said it. Mary Ann Halford. She's an NBC executive. She's very embarrassed by her daughter's internet presence. She came and told us all this. So, of course, of course, I'm going to latch onto that and lean into it. Marianne Halford hates that her daughter is an internet whore. Marianne Halford hates that her daughter is on the internet as an anal queen. <laughs> She hates it. She hates it. And then and then her stupid daughter runs and tells everybody their business. She's upstairs. She's mad at me. She got mad at this. She got mad at that. She works here. She does. It's like, this bitch can't keep her mouth shut about anything. She's aired out all Dove Davidoff shit, private tech. She tells everybody about fucking Jim Stansel and Alex Stein and, and talking to Chad for five hours. I mean, again, and these guys are such simp losers in their 50s. Talking to this young girl. Chad is 49 talking for five hours to a 24-year-old girl on the phone. It lets you know. And then, Chad, and then Chad's takeaway from it all, too. I can't. It's so much. It's so much stuff. I don't. There's no plan for today. I just have. It's almost like a brain dump of just all this stuff from the past week. Chad, Chad's takeaway from talking to Kate Meany is like, she's actually really funny and smart. She's really, really, really interesting, and she's a little shit stir. She knows what she's doing. She gets there and mixes it up. It's like, <laughs> it, again, it just it shows you Chad's calibration. Kate Meany's a fucking idiot who has no idea what she's doing. Stirring shit. How? Who? Who is she messed up? Who? She's talking about she's gonna serve me with a season desist. I can. I cannot wait. I cannot wait. On the one hand, she's like doxing little Lemmy and her children. She's like, th this is what she got kicked off Twitter for, by the way. People think I had her kicked off Twitter. I'm not reporting shit. G grow up. <laughs> I, I, I didn't report. She, she told little Lemmy, I'm going to dox all your children where they go to school and all this stuff and said, you think I won't do it? Fuck you. I'll, I'll leak all your shit and dox you. I don't give a shit. Meanwhile, she thinks you can't talk about her. She's going to serve Melton a cease and desist for repeating what she's said on podcast. She's striking videos because people are talking about her. 
but she's allowed to say anything she wants and she's allowed to dox people and she's allowed to do anything she it's like honey just just keep getting into the pills you know but all these guys, this is their only move. So it's like, keep, again, go for it. I don't flinch over here. Go for it. If you think you got something and you think you're going to hurt people, do it. We're all waiting. <laughs> you know, again, I don't. I, I've, I've been playing on the Internet for over 20 years like this. I've been getting hate mail and death threats and doxings. Someone tried to tow my car. I don't think you understand. Like, I, 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 people have fucked with my life in ways you can't imagine. You think you're going to get me? You ain't. You ain't. Someone paid to have my car towed across the country, and I caught them loading it up. <laughs> they almost took my car. They almost took my car across the country. That's a prank. That's a prank. I didn't have a garage at the time. I have a garage now. Good luck. <laughs> they tried They tried to take my fucking car. <laughs> they paid for it. Thousands of dollars. That's good. That's good. That, that, that puts a wrinkle in shit, you know? Now, I know who it was. This was 2006. Six. It was. It, this was very, very good. This was very funny. But that—that's the kind of thing I'll even salute respect. You're gonna what? You're gonna post my? You think you found something about? Okay, we'll wait. We'll wait. <laughs> yeah, uh, like you could do that to Joey C, right? You could have his car towed. You could, you could pretend like you got drunk and left it in the parking lot because it's not even, it's commercial. Just have, <laughs> I've said too much already. Enough about my anal queen. Our long talks through the night center around what an asshole Melton is. Ogain, okay, this will be up later. Uh, get my hot sauce promo code Simp Shrimp. Ogain okay, Melton is a bitch. Um, yeah, this will be up later. They probably, they probably did talk about me for hours. Yeah, Melton's stupid, right? Yeah, yeah, he's dumb. Did you know Red Bar ran him off the internet? Yeah. Did you know he was on Legion of Skanks? You know they talked about that 100% because she said, she said on one of the shows, like, I was watching an old clip of Red Bar. They ran him off the internet. It's like, holy shit. Are you guys uh, are copying each other's homework? That's what you're doing. That's what you've got going. Brr. DK gifting 10 memberships. Um, thank you so much. So good to be back. In the loving arms of these losers. All right, we got to start this whole Marsh clip over. Sorry, uh, I've, I've let it uh, expire. <laughs> oh he got so mad at that one i wrote people have been trying to destroy me for years and failing and you aren't going to be the one I that's that's also another thing these idiot losers try to cope with i've never tweeted anything and said he got so mad at that you tweeted people have been trying to bring me down forever and you think it's going to be you he got so mad when i tweeted that it's such a cut that's a cope a movie does this all the time. Like, Melton gets so mad that we make money. It's like, I do? I do? <laughs> I mean, no one is mad. I mean, you, you, I don't think you know what words mean. Melton's mad? Why does that audio sound so bad? I don't know. It's the clip. Sure you. Like, I'm going to lose my shit to Zero Dark Tony. I'd rather hand ROTC Media to Jesse from Pot Off. Oh, here's where he does that thing where he starts looking up at the sky like a retard. I'd rather hand him the keys to the company than... The company. $4,000. More money than you've ever seen in your life. Uh, the company? Uh, uh, what, what do you think is bigger? Mersh's company or the hot sauce company? Which one do you think? Look, same thing with this hot sauce guy. He loses his mind on Twitter and then has to delete it all. He, he said something about 
Uh, we we made fun of his hot sauce, and then Ian Hawk started talking about fucking his mother, which is very inappropriate. And I don't Ian Hawk's, you know, one of our simpler fans. <laughs> you know, I don't endorse anything he does, and he goes right for the for the throat. And you can't stop these guys with this mental retard strength, like Ian Hawk. He just starts telling the guy like. You know, I'm going to get the hot sauce and use it as lube to dig out your mother. Like, I'm going to show up with hot sauce and my dick in my hand and fuck, fuck his mother. <laughs> you know, and I'm over here going like, whoa, whoa, too far. And that's, I think that's why people get confused and think I'm like mad or upset. You know, I, I don't know what it is. And part of it is just dumb. Chad's hurt and angry, so he thinks I'm hurt and angry. I'm not hurt and angry. You can't hurt me. <laughs> My happiness isn't dependent on any of you. And Jesus Christ, I'm trying to make that a model for my, again, I don't want all the weak-minded, ner- you know, all these guys, it's the most involved fans, the ones who are the most concerned. About- I, I, it's, I worry. I do worry. I worry about today DK or Ian Hawk or 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 uh you know vaping Dago or uh KB or Tiff all these fans that are like real Skeddy Tooth John and you know all the all the big involved participants they they are the ones that go nuts and turn they are they are it's always the biggest they're, they're the ones who lose their minds in turn. You know, one minute I got a guy sending me emails about my diet, you know, that I should really think about changing it. The next minute, like, he don't listen and I'm an idiot and a loser. And I mean, it just, okay. Again, as you wrap that blanket of lies you made up around you, does it make you warm? <laughs> Is that what it's doing? The thing you sewed out of complete, you know, fabricated nonsense. Did it make you warm? Okay. So they, you know, they attribute all these feelings they have to other people. I don't, I'm not mad at Chad. I do. Chad causes me nothing but laughs. I I, I cannot illustrate this enough. No one's backing down. No one's scared. No one's like, please stop. No one's been owned. No one's been gotten. There's not a threat you can make. There's nothing you can do. Again, go for it, Chad. Every time you, again, every time you try to do something, it's funny. It's funny. Because you don't know what you're doing. So go for it. I'm, I'm, I I wouldn't do it if it didn't cause me joy. You know, I, I'm, I'm Marie condoing the fuck out of my content over here. If it doesn't spark joy, <laughs> I throw it out. I throw it out. If, if I was get, like, Chad, I'm causing him, like, legit stress in his life. How do I know? I've seen the emails he wrote a police detective about me. <laughs> I've seen the emails you wrote to a police detective. Chad. So, you know, on the one hand, I'm not supposed to bully. So me knowing that you're actually being traumatized by my content, it is, it is kind of incumbent on me to not terrorize you and cause you stress and trauma, which I clearly am. I've read the emails you wrote to a detective. I read them. They're insane. (laughs) You're hurt. You're very, very hurt. There are no emails I've written to a detective about you. Because it doesn't really cross my mind once the show's over. We're laughing. We're laughing. If anybody can find a police report I've filed about Chad talking about me. Chad went to a detective and wrote, they're doing podcasts about me. (laughs) Okay, good luck. I'll be waiting for Kate Meany's cease and desist. And guess what? It'll work just about as well as Joey C's cease and desist. By the way, did Joey C's heart get a cease and desist? What happened? Oh, what happened? So, uh, good luck, everyone. Good luck. Uh, what you want to be 
it, it isn't necessarily happening, but you can keep trying. I'll let you know when it stresses me out. I'll let you know when I'm hurt. I, again, I need the clip yesterday of Chad going, Melton's in Hawaii. His life sucks. I, do, I really need that. Melton's in Hawaii right now. His life sucks. He said from a dark, mirrored apartment. <laughs> a dark, mirrored, lonely, alone apartment. Okay. Even have even zero dark Tony think for a moment that he's going to fucking dunk on me. Can we see this tiny beer? So immediately after a glass of scotch. I, where do you even get a beer? Where do you get a beer that tiny? Where do you even get little beers like this? Is he? Is this one of those beer of the month clubs where you like uh, get a little sampler of six different IPAs or sours? I mean, what a tiny beer. I mean, what a tiny beer. <laughs> Also, very, very cool. And that goes for Patrick Melton, too. Oh! Again, what goes for me? He's been trying to beef with me desperately for years. He's been trying to beef with me desperately for years. Again, $1,000 to anyone who can find a clip of me mentioning Mersh before six months ago. And again, when I say six months, I'm estimating. You know what I'm talking about. When, when I found out about Mersh last year, whenever it was, April, June, September, I don't even remember. I don't even remember. Find me a clip of me talking about, I'm not kidding, mentioning Mersh before last year. $1,000, no questions asked. Find a clip of me saying the word Mersh before last year, $1,000. Open, open offer. This offer never, ever ends. You know how I can do that? I didn't know who this guy was before last year. 100%. So good luck. Good luck. But I, I, it, it tells you how he feels. It feels like it's been years. Melton's made four clips, and it feels like it's been years. Is that how good I am at this? That I've talked about you four times, and to you, it feels like I've been attacking you for years. <laughs> like, okay, I must be awesome at this. I must be awesome at this if I can say your name five times and have you freak the fuck out and tell people I've accosted you for years. I still wish I could have went to Hawaii with you. I would have sunbathed for a good two hours. You would have caught a whiff of that scrimp from my rot pocket and you wouldn't be able to help yourself. You would have plunged into me and blown me up like Ben Affleck in Pearl Harbor. Ooh, Melton, please, 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 Pearl Harbor, my rot pocket. Jesus Christ. Pearl necklace for a Pearl Harbor type of bitch. I get it. Be smiley. Melton froze up and didn't say anything. So I threw him backstage and let Chad talk. Doesn't really make sense. Also, I put him backstage for a second. Yeah, which, which is it? I put him backstage so Chad could talk, but Melton froze up and didn't talk. Why'd you have to put me backstage if I wasn't talking? And again, Kevin, Kevin lied last week about this. Uh, Lev Kramer, I'm towing your Lexus to Canada. I need an upgrade. Oh. And J Joseph Ellis. Who's J Jason Ellis? I must have said Jason Ellis. Is that a guy? Joseph Ellis. Um, Kevin lied last week with, with Pat Dixon on. And Pat Dixon was trying to st stick up for me a little bit. But um, Kevin said, yeah, I took turns putting them both backstage. No, you didn't, Kevin. No, you didn't. You put me backstage, you put Chad backstage and would bring him out. Sometimes I wasn't, you did it so fast, I didn't even get to talk. You took Chad away and brought him back. You did that four times, five times before you ever did it to me. You did it to me one time. You took me off for minutes. You forgot I was back there. And then the minute I dropped off, you and Chad go, oh, Melton left. It was nine minutes. People timed it. 
nine minutes. It was nine minutes. Again, you guys act like this isn't recorded. You know, fuck. Do facts matter to anyone else? Nine minutes. And, and, and as soon as I dropped off and pulled the show up on my phone to listen, they went, wow, Melton dropped off. Wow. So, I mean, keep on coping, idiots. I, I tried to give Melton a chance, but he ran away. I mean, in what fucking world? In what fucking world? But uh, Kevin has already gaslit himself. Again, it, it, same as Mersh. These guys have to make up something that makes themselves feel better. It's a self-soothing bullshit. Kevin now believes in his own head. That he took, he kept, no, I kept taking them both off. I took Melton off, I took Chad off, I took Melton off, I took Chad off. No, you didn't. No, you didn't. You took me off once and never brought me back. Fuck you, liar. Fuck you. I ran away because you kicked me off once. You kicked me off. You guys moved on to another topic that wasn't even about me and Chad. And then waited until I left and then said, wow, Melton left. Again, I'm not Stevie Lou. I'm not so desperate that I'm going to sit back there for half an hour. I'm not ski mask. I'm not going to sit back there for 30 minutes. I mean, fuck you, dude. Just just, just control everything and lie about it to make yourselves feel better. Again, again, this is who Kevin's chosen. Chad and Kate Meany. I mean, he's just a fucking idiot. And, and the views thing continues. The views thing continues. You know, I did an hour show in uh, in Hawaii, and when we got and there were uh, almost four hundred people watching live, and then we got done with the show, and when it was over, it said fifty seven views. Now, did I buy views on that? No. If you wait waited thirty minutes, it caught up. It, again, I can't, you know, Kevin got caught a little bit because he, he was, he he got served a little bit by uh, Adam because he was like, Melton said I don't use the YouTube broadcaster, then I use StreamYard. And then StreamYard doesn't give you all the stats and tools. Is that true? He said StreamYard was like training wheels. And Adam had to tell him like, yeah, yeah. I mean, like, yeah, Kevin, I'm not kidding. You don't know anything about your own channel or how it works. You old stupid fuck. So keep on coping. I mean, he just like he 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 has one metric on his mind. It's did they buy views or did they not buy views? And he thinks that controls everything. He's made this up. I, I it's just it's fucking pathetic. I, I'll I'll pr I'll prove it again with today's show. But uh, here's the thing. Duration of the show is another thing that, that has to do with these numbers. If you do an hour-long show with 300 people watching and then stop, it'll say 50 or whatever before it climbs up to 1,000 or whatever it actually was. And then I got idiots on. You know, they go like, Melton, Melton's trying to say that YouTube takes time to count the views. What an idiot. It's like, they do. They do. I mean, I mean it just fucking is. But if I do a four-hour show that averages 400 viewers, when that ends, it will, of course, be over uh, 400 because it's had four hours to do calculating. I get, I, I, I'm not going to argue with a guy who doesn't even know how it works. I'm not going to argue with a fucking idiot who's never even looked at the YouTube broadcast panel and doesn't have a fucking clue how it works. The view count on this video you're watching right now is 1,018. That's the view count. If I stop this video right now, I guarantee you it'll say something like 250. Why, Patrick? Because it takes time to process and attribute the views to the video. I don't know why. I don't know why, but I know it is so. How do I know? Because I can see the number that YouTube tells me has seen this video. And if I were to private it, here's what's crazy. If I set it on private the minute the video is done, it'll still say 250. And over an hour, it'll accumulate up to this 1,018, now 1,020 viewers. 
it takes hours. And the longer the show is, the longer it takes to count the views for it. Now, Kevin does a three-hour show. So at the end of three hours, of course, it's processed over a 1,000 views, and the number he'll see is always going to be higher than that number of live views. But if he were to do a 45-minute show that had a 1,000 viewers watching and then stop it, it would tell him the, the view count is 100, 150. And then two hours later, it would say 2,000. Like, it just, that's the way it works. I don't know why. It is the way it works. I, I know about three different metrics that have to do with how they process those views and how long it takes. None of them is, did you buy viewers or not? Did you buy viewers or not? So, uh, uh, but you, I, I can't tell this guy this anymore, and I won't. I won't. He wants to, he wants it to be what he wants it to be. And, and you can't tell Kevin anything he doesn't want to know. Um, Italian Stallion member for six months. Has the person that kicked out of Discord for choosing... Hold on. Has the person that was kicked out of Discord for choosing weird tits over wheel friends contacted you since? Has the person that was kicked... I don't think anybody's... Oh, you're talking Stevie Lou. Stevie Lou's not kicked out of our Discord. Uh, Black Eyed Sue. But no, I haven't heard... Stevie Lou messaged me. You all saw that message on my um, uh, Twitter. He wrote, we're doing it. We started a trash fire in BYB cell. That's what he sent me on January 12th. Or maybe that was, that was Friday. That was Friday when I did my show. This is the only thing I've heard from Stevie Lou in this month, or I guess in the past, since I left on vacation. No, we are doing it. You know, we're doing it. We started a trash fire in BYB cell. That's all I've heard from Stevie. I don't know what any of that means. Stevie Lou has not said another fucking word to me. We started a trash fire in BYB cell. So, again, I have no idea what that means. I have no idea. But cool, I guess. <laughs> I've asked Stevie. So, for people who don't know what happened, I guess Stevie Lou. Oh, no, I'm getting a call. Who could this be? Hello? Welcome back, big fella. Oh, thanks. Hey, uh, so just kind of uh, springboarding off of what you were just talking about. Is Stevie Lou a guy? I mean, Stevie Lou is a comedian, so he's been a guy. I don't, this this is all stupid in the past week. You, that This is you guys being spurked. <laughs> but does a guy need to proclaim all caps in the Discord that I'm a guy? I mean, I, mean, I think it was a joke that, again, you guys have spurred out on way hard. <laughs> Stevie Lou doesn't look near as stupid as everybody else doing the guy thing. Sorry. I mean, oh, come on. Oh, my God. Why are you washing Stevie's balls? Come on. Why am I what? Washing Stevie's balls. Saying what is isn't washing anyone's balls. <laughs> come on. Stevie Lou's a comedian. Right. He's never not been a guy. So that didn't happen last week, and you guys are flipping out, and you guys look retarded, not Stevie. <laughs> no, Stevie's a guy because he said so, all caps. <laughs> Stevie has All right, see you later. Welcome back. Stevie has a podcast. He's been a guy. I mean, you're dumb. Stevie Lou isn't a fan who's like trying to become a guy and start a podcast. He had a podcast before I entered the Dabbleverse. He's been on stage since before I entered the Dabbleverse. He was on MLC before I entered the Dabbleverse. You're all going, he just became a guy. He didn't. He didn't. This was your little spurg out and your little tantrum you guys want to have. It's fine, but it is you. It is no one else. <laughs> Godfrey stuck up for Cat Williams on a 4 million viewed uh, video. Where Where's his for Chad? Godfrey stuck up for Cat Williams on a 4 million viewed. Where's his for Chad? I mean, Godfrey is not really Chad's friend, just so you know. 
Look, Godfrey knows what Chad is and what a, what a nightmare Chad will be if he just starts hounding on you. So Godfrey plays along. Don't, they're not buddies. Florentine's doing a show in Tampa and Chad's not on it. They're not buddies. They're, they tolerate Chad because they've let, they're scared of Chad. Like people are, don't want to be involved in this world. They're, they're, it's why Florentine doesn't come on and, MLC and stuff like he don't want to get mixed up with losers like Chad who have nothing to do but Chad has nothing but time to like try to fuck with your world luckily I understand Chad's a fucking idiot and much smarter people have tried to fuck with my world than Chad Zumok so for me it's all content and laughs the more Chad tries to get me and fuck with my life hilarious shit so there'll be no taking the foot off the pedal over here good luck Chad we're all waiting. We're all fucking waiting. We, we really worried over here. Just promise that you won't look into my totally real rumble numbers. Yeah. I definitely get 10K views, and I for sure, for sure have 4,500 subscribers. That was the other thing. Hold on. Let me go back to this merch. Fucking hell. <laughs> on Rumble, a, a website with 270 registered fucking users, around, 270 million users around the world. You're on a site that has 50 for years. My main show pulls 4,000 people live. I have almost... My main show <laughs> pulls 4,000 people live. Uh... Why the fuck you lying? Why you always lying? Mm, oh my god. Stop fucking lying. Your main show. My main show pulls for this sounds like Gino, right? Thousands of people watch me on Compound and 40 on YouTube. Okay. Fuck it. I have 843 people watching me on Rumble. A, a website with 270 registered fuck. Hold on. 843 watching on Rumble? You said 4,000. Where are the other ones? Twitter? Also, 843 on Rumble. I, yeah, I hate to tell you, but it, that ain't 843. 843. <laughs> Fucking users around. 270 million users around the world. You're on a site that has 50 billion registered users, and you don't pull my numbers on my solo show. Okay. I mean, I don't, I don't even know what, he's, what numbers he's proclaiming at this point. I would sooner suck Jesse's dick in front of the rat hole in Chicago. Then ever give you any play, Pat Milton. I mean, what are you doing right now then? You just told people that I've, I've been after you for years. You just gave me play. <laughs> First of all, you, you've, you've let everybody, you, we've lifted up your little brain and seen the, the cogs spinning in there, the hamster on the wheel. You are so broken. You've gaslit yourself into thinking I've been making fun of you for years. Okay. Again, you s I know $1,000 is a lot to you, Mersh, because you said $4,000 is more money than you've ever seen in your life. Remember when he said that? I got a $4,000 deal with Rumble. That's more money than you've ever seen in your life. <laughs> so... I'll, uh, it's open to Mersh, too. And Mersh should know. He's the one who takes his show notes and knows what's going on. $1,000, Mersh, if you can just prove that I've mentioned your name before last year. <laughs> $1,000 to anyone who can show me a clip of myself talking about Mersh before you guys brought him to my attention last year. Anyone? Anyone. You know, I've got a lot of offers for cash out. Chad Zumach, prove you made more than $425. It was a check from the club. It was a check from the club in October of 2022. Prove just any bank, you could pull up your bank account and get a get a image, a scanned image of that canceled check. Any bank does this. Prove you got paid more than four hundred and twenty-five dollars. I don't need to. I don't. I don't need to do that. I don't need to do that. Yeah, Mersh Melton's been trying to get me to feud with him for years. 
any clip, anyone, it's open. Mention me mentioning Mersh before last year. Thousand dollars, no questions asked. Because it doesn't exist. What was the other one that I offered money for? Like right before I left, something else that you know. None of these guys wanted to. Do- Chad, Chad, where's <laughs> Chad said he had all this equipment for his studio, but then when we asked to see it, he shows you a mouse pad and a keyboard. But he's also like, oh, but I also have a Procaster and a. It's like, where is it? He said he had a Procaster and a monitor and a and a new board and everything, but he doesn't use that for his podcast. Okay, okay. I mean, none of these guys, none of these guys can back up what they say ever. Oh, Corey, Corey, that's what it was. Financial docs for Corey. Corey said he made five hundred to a thousand dollars to headline and two fifty to feature, and I said. Show me, show me any of that, and I'll double it. I mean, show me that you've made five hundred thousand dollars for headlining in the past ever. <laughs> That's right, in the past ever. I've opened it up to eternity. Now, any time in your career, show me that you made five hundred to a thousand dollars to headline, and I will just double that amount for you. I don't have to prove anything to Pat. It's like, I mean, you do, you do, liar. Or, I mean, you don't, but then we'll all just think you're liars, you know. You, you, you really, you don't, you're right. You do not have to prove it, but we will, we shall all just assume you're a liar. Beloved Chatter, can you point me to a clip of Stevie's comedy? Uh, we did all that early on on my show. Catch up. Uh, Beloved Chatter, can you point me to uh, Lou's podcast? I'm sorry, what? Oh, you're trying to say like that doesn't exist, but you're, I mean, you're wrong. We watched Stevie Lou's comedy when we found Stevie Lou for the first time, back when he had 200 and something Twitter followers. We made fun of him. I was hard on Stevie Lou. We, we watched his stand up clips. We, we did all this point you to his podcast. It's called BYB. <laughs> it's called BYB. He's been on for years. Just hanging out. Now, I know it's confusing because it doesn't seem like a podcast. It's more like a chill hang amongst trailer trash. But, uh, you know, it is a, they call it a show. Understand that. There are people I have no respect for who I respect more than you. And he had sad Chad. And he was on Ski Mask Collective. I mean, Stevie Lou had three podcasts that I know of before I got into this world. So you're mistaken. You're mistaken. BYB, Sad Chad, and Ski Mask Collective. He he was, at at a minimum, a co-host on all these shows. So you try to tell me he wasn't already a guy, and you're wrong. There are people I have no respect for who I respect more than you. Yeah, Mersh is wild, huh? I mean, who knew? Who knew everyone was such fragile idiots they have to lie? I I kept taking Melton off and kept taking Chad off. No, you didn't. No, you didn't. Again, God, if it was only recorded. (laughs) If it was only recorded. Hey, Kevin, I'll give you 30 grand if you can uh, pull up a video of you taking me off, bringing me back, taking me off, bringing me back. 30 grand. Oh, wait, it didn't fucking happen. Liar. Who knew? Who knew? 63-year-old men gaslight. <laughs> Kevin goes, Kevin was doing that too. Like, Mountain's trying to gaslight me, telling me I didn't see what I saw. It's like, no, I'm trying to tell you you didn't see what you're imagining. I'm trying to tell you you didn't see what you're imagining. You've made up a cause, and then you only pay it. So because Kevin thinks that you have low numbers when you buy viewers, he only pays attention to it when someone buys him viewers. So he's like, see? And then I told him how to prove that that's not what's happening. And, and he read it on the show. He goes, Melton says, I got to make this show private right afterwards. And I'll still see the numbers climbing. But he's never done that. He's never done that. Or if he has, he hasn't admitted that I'm right. So I, I, I just, it's tough. It's really, really tough. Uh, I, I, I'm not trying to tell you 
what you saw didn't happen. I'm trying to tell you that the reason you think it's happening isn't that reason. That that's what I'm trying to tell you. But I got again, it doesn't matter to Kevin. It never did matter to Kevin. Kevin's not interested in being correct. He's interested in being right. He's interested in, in what he's saying being the thing that sticks. So I I, I can't help him anymore. I can't. I, I just can't. Look, if you do a three hour show, the number that you that, <laughs> I, I Kevin, if you do a one-hour show and then stop, the number that shows for views will be lower than your the people you had watching live. Fact. By the way, that's not for everybody. That's just for Kevin. I'm, I'm saying because Kevin gets about 1,000 viewers. So, Kevin, do a one-hour show where you'll get like 800, 1,000 viewers live and then, and then stop it, and the number that shows for how many views will be lower. Than, than how many you had watching live. Do a three-hour show with 800 people watching and then stop, the number will be higher. Always. Always. Why? The two extra hours. Nothing to do with buying views. The two extra hours have allowed those views from the first couple hours to process already. So you do an hour show, none of the views have processed already. They're not there. I mean, I, I, again... I, I've d I, I've done this so much I can't. I've done this so much I can't. Um, can we watch some of Stevie Lou's comedy? I mean, didn't we already do this? Didn't you read this chat? It's the same chat. And then I said, we've done this. We've already done it. Do a search. We've already done it. I I, I got this other guy who keeps sending me videos we've already covered. It's like we've already but this is this is crazy because this is right after this chat. Beloved Chatter did this, and I said, yeah, we did that a long time ago. And then you pop up with the same request. <laughs> Stevie Lou has a podcast where prove it. I mean, again, that was right after this one. Is this the bit? Are people just repeating the same questions? Is that the bit? As long as you keep attaching $2 to it, I'm not mad. <laughs> so is your argument that, like, because it's not Stevie Lou solo, that it's not Stevie Lou's podcast? By that argument, you could argue that Kevin Brennan doesn't have a podcast, right? No, it's Kevin Brennan and Adam's podcast. No, it's Kevin Brennan's podcast with co-host. Sue Costello and Kevin Brennan's podcast. These are facts. These are facts. I know three different podcasts Stevie Lou was on before I knew who Stevie Lou was. Sad Chad, Ski Mask uh, Collective, and BYB. So I would like to point you to those podcasts again. And, you know, this guy's still going, dumbass. Show me any podcast with him on it. It's like, wow. Wow. Um, I'd love a side-by-side -side comparison of how he describes me versus how he described Kate. Who? I don't know. I don't know anything about FKA Mommy, and I've never talked shit about FKA Mommy, so I know you're not talking about me. Um, I met you in uh, AC. You were very lovely and nice, and I've never talked shit. If you're on a podcast, you're a guy. Noted. Yeah. That's why Ian Hawk's like, I'm not trying to become a guy. It's like, uh, you are, you are. <laughs> I mean, nobody does serious interviews with Carl about trolling and says, I'm not trying to become a guy. You know? So he made an appearance on Ski Mask Collective. Holy shit, he's a guy. No, he, yeah. I mean, I can't, I can't. So Matthew Perry's bloated corpse is trolling and I won't, I will no longer bite. I get what you're doing and very, very funny. I get what you're doing. It's a hoot. <laughs> he appeared on it. No, he, he was like the co-host. He promoted it. He got paid. He was like the co-host. He was running around telling everybody, Ski Mask Collective, we're on right after this. Don't forget to watch us, Ski Mask Collective. Yeah, yeah. And by the way, same thing with BYB. And same thing with Sad Chad. Sad Chad, they had like how many episodes? 20, 30 episodes. He's the co-host on it. Point me one podcast with Stevie Lou. Okay. I'm not gonna. 
because you're dumb. I'm afraid if I point, it'll it'll poke your eye out. You're so dumb, you know. Point me one podcast with Stevie Lou. Here's how I know you're all dumb. I you know I'm the least plugged in person to this world, and I'm the most out of it guy, and and I know all of it more than you. You know. You're like point to me one podcast with Stevie Lou. It's like uh, okay. Ah, and oh, now he's going five views isn't a podcast. Oh, okay. Now, now whether or not it's a podcast has to do with how many views it has. Are you okay? Get well soon. Get well, get well soon. We want you to get well. Get well, get well soon. I want you to get well. Oh, now beloved chatter's going like, there's no stand up of him. It's like, okay. Okay. I didn't say he hasn't quit. I didn't say he hasn't pulled it all down. We've watched multiple clips of it on my show. So are you gaslighting me? Or are you calling me a liar? Beloved chatter, like what's going on? You know, I, again, I don't know if you're all puffed up because of this chatter of the year nonsense, but are you calling me a liar? Are you saying, are you saying... No, Stevie's never done stand up and there's no clips of it. Okay. Okay. Whatever you, if again, if that makes you feel warm and feel good, then have at it. There are no st clips of Stevie Lou doing stand up and he's never done stand up. Okay, okay, we didn't cover it on this very program. Okay. Who you fooling white boy your ass just as pasty as you is last week. Skin cancer is a blessing. Let's go meet our Lord. I was slathering myself with that. Uh, you know, in Hawaii, you're not allowed to use real sunscreen. You have to use their. I don't think it works as well. I don't think it works as well that um, mineral sunscreen, but apparently it's all better for the reefs. I'd rather cover myself in mud uh but yeah i did not get very burnt i did pretty well my neck is a little toast toasted uh but i did pretty well this time with keeping myself slathered in the old sunscreen uh mersh equals dale gribble plus bill daughtry from cough i don't even know what cough is that's some uh, acronym i don't know keepers of the House, killers on the horn, C Krang over the hill, uh, kiss on the hiney, cream of the harp, what's cough? Oh, king of the hill. Got it, got it, got it. Dale plus Bill. Dale's the, I know who Dale is. Was, which one was Bill? The bald one? The bald guy? I haven't watched King of the Hill in a while. Um, <laughs> kids on the Hall. Oh, Kids on the Hall. Um, Kids on the Hall. MGD says, we did cover Stevie Lou's comedy. Shut up, MGD. No, we didn't. No, we didn't. Beloved Chatter says, no comedy exists of Stevie Lou's. No, we didn't. Beloved Chatter says so. Yeah, I've had about enough. We got to bring him down a peg. Let's find out where below. This is a dog whistle. That's how dogs whistle, right? Get, get him. How did dogs whistle? I love a dog whistle. Um, anyway, bring me down a peg in AC, Patrick. Will do. I'm buying you the drink of your choice, and we're going to clink glasses very aggressively. You know what I'm going to get you, beloved chatter? A tiny beer. I'm going to have them sent to the bar. We're all drinking tiny beers. <laughs> bring me down a notch. Ugh. Oh, my God. Oh, my God.
No, I look, I believe he took them all down, but that doesn't mean they didn't exist. As, la as late as last week, I saw uh, somebody watching a clip of Stevie Lou's. It was either in our Discord or it was Chad or something. Somebody was somebody was watching a clip of Stevie Lou. It, it does exist. I'm not saying there was very many. I remember us laughing about it. It was we were like, oh, there's only like two or three clips. But we definitely watched them. They were definitely bad. Um, but pony beers. Is that what they're called? Pony beers? <laughs> pony beers. Beloved Chatter is becoming a guy. I like Beloved Chatter. I'm just fucking with him. I think I think he's trolling me. Um, I mean, look. Again, again, just search. Just go back in our show and search Stevie Lou. It, it was one of the first. It was before the, like, Stevie Lou, this is your life on trial day. It was way before that. We watched, like, everything we could get on Stevie Lou. And, you know, um, it wasn't much. Gregory B., beloved chatter, is becoming a guy. I don't agree. I don't think so. And I don't agree, and it's um, nerve-wracking that people think that. Pat is scared of beloved chatter, as he should be. No, beloved chatter's been nothing but nice to me. I, I got nothing bad to say about the guy. About this, he's mistaken, though. Again, I, 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 we keep changing the argument. Stevie Lou didn't have a podcast. It's like, I mean, he promoted three different ones. He, he, he definitely did. Five views, that's not a podcast. It's like, okay. I mean, I didn't, know, I didn't read that in the definition of what a podcast is. Anything over five views. <laughs> but I'm willing to learn. So please uh, send me emails, Patrick at nobodylikesonions.com, and give me the updated definition of what a podcast is. I, I do need to know. I do need to know because I was not aware of the, the five views thing. I didn't know that that was one of the criterium. Patrick, nobody says criterium. Shut up. Shut up. Stevie is hurt over KB not in the Discord. Look, I think the thing was Stevie lose a work. Uh, I, I, it sounds like it's all a work. If it's not a work, it's retarded at this point, right? I mean, I, I first of all, if it is a work, it's insane. Stevie Lou won't communicate with me. He won't talk to me. I've asked this question. Did you throw away your good friends for to white knight for Kate Meany. And he won't answer the question. He's literally in the, in the discord. He will not answer the question. He keeps going. First, he was going like, what question I was, I'm tagging you and asking. I'm tagging you and asking. He's like, what question? I'm like, did you throw away your friends again? BYB who he's done a show with for a long time to white knight for Kate Meany. Remember he got on the phone and he was like telling everybody like, don't put Kate Meany's name on this show. You know, it was very embarrassing. We got to watch it, actually. We should watch that show. Hello? Yeah. Uh, Melson, have you ever owned a cat? I'm, it, I'm just wondering because what's going on with Stevie Lou is this. The Discord thought they created content for you by making him a guy over the weekend. And kind of like when a cat kills, like, an animal and they bring it to the owner. And the owner, you know, the owner already has food. The cat didn't do anything. So the big deal with this Stevie Lou is a guy thing. It's just the discord fawning over the fact that they think they made something for you. No, they did it for He's themselves. I, I think they did it for themselves. They're having fun and I, and I have no problem with it. They're allowed to just, this guy thing is a meme and that's great. And it's funny, yeah. but we've done four or five shows on Stevie Lou. And that was months and months and months and months ago. So for you to be like, we made him a guy last week. It's like, no, you didn't. <laughs> exactly. Now, there is two people that are totally guys that you can't sleep on. And you know who these are. Mr. and Miss Kill Everything. Come on. <laughs> I haven't watched. Bro. I didn't see the first show that they were on. Bro, was it like New Year's that Eve? legit Ohio Papa Roach shit. <laughs> what did they Have do? Have you seen this dude? No. Have you? I mean, I've seen, seen clips. I've seen parts of it, but I haven't. I didn't like watch that. When they're on, it's generally he is pretty boring. Dressed like Hot Topic Deluxe. <laughs> he got painted black fingernails. No. He looked like a character from Mr. Meaty. 
He painted his fingernails black? I thought he wore, like, suits and stuff. I thought he was all like, clean cut. Would you, if, you, if you saw this dude, would you doubt it, though, if he did? So he didn't? You got to see this dude. Oh, my. I don't know. I'm, I make shit up. But he probably does. <laughs> you got to see these two motherfuckers. Holy So shit. you made shit up, and you're like, you got to see it. But I can't because you made it up. I mean, you make shit up all the time, too. <laughs> I don't go, hey, he has black fingernails. You got to see it. And then when I go, where? And you go, I made it up. You can't. He probably does. <laughs> he probably does. He probably does. Uh, all right. All right. This has been a horrible phone call. Fuck off. It hasn't been the worst. I'm going to be honest. It wasn't the worst. We've had way, way worse. Remember Goro? I'm kidding. I don't even, I don't even remember Goro. I just said that to be mean. <laughs> remember Goro? No, no, I don't. Um, anyway, look, uh, are we done? Is everybody, uh, done being angry at me for no reason? Why is everybody all mad today? You guys are harshing my island buzz. This is really killing my aloha spirit. Mm. Stevie stand up on East side Dave show. There you go. There you go. Beloved chatter. Again, I guess, I guess uh, you're trying to get me because because it's not like the Stevie Lou show. You're looking for something called the Stevie Lou show. No, I mean, you know, I don't have a show called the Patrick Melton Hour. I'm just one of the co-hosts on Nobody Likes Onions. I could be replaced tomorrow. I could be gone in a heartbeat. You never know. You never know. Hello. Hi, I just want uh, I wanted to say that I can verbally uh, verbally annihilate you guys and um and Ian Hawk is very sexy. Bye. Wow, you did the same flub that Kate Meany did. That was the same exact flub that Kate Meany did. I just want to let you know that I can verbally verbal verbally She flubbed the word verbally. Kate Meany calls in Tells little Emmy, I'm going to verbally annihilate you, but flubs the word verbally. You can't make it up. You can't make it up. Where's that uh, show? BYB. It was the night of their life, right? Didn't they have like. Um, BYB podcast. Don't take it down. Verbal. No, no. I think she flubbed that 100% on purpose. Because it's exactly the same way Kate Meany flubbed it. BYB, 7.7 thousand views. And they'll never get this again. They'll never get this again. Uh, when do they bring Kate Meany on? Let me, I'm sorry. I don't, I wasn't planning on doing this, but we'll skip to it. Where's Kate Me? There she is. Okay. Yeah, I thought that was actually Kate Meany. God it damn, who Yeah, Fantastic. she came in and left so fast. Oh, you know, you can barely... really? That was her? Yeah. That was oh, her. Fuck. Fucking... Look how good Lemmy and I look together. Nice looking couple. I want to send little Lemmy a hat. Little Lemmy, can I send you a hat? I don't know. These people don't trust me with their address. Like I'm gonna like. Have I ever given out any? Say whatever you want. You know, I hope people watch me. You know. And <laughs> brutal. <laughs> God She's a lot hotter than the last time I saw her. Uh, and uh, younger, maybe? Possibly? A lot younger. A lot younger looking, at least. Uh, <laughs> if I had to... Like, it looks like Stevie Lou and Little Lemmy do a show from the same room with different lighting. <laughs> look at their look at their setup. Uh, yeah. Okay. Now we have the actual real-life Kate Meany popping in. The oh. real... Quadfather's the only guy with drunk voice who doesn't drink. 
Phil McCoy. Oh, Welcome. Hello. This is Meany. What up, motherfuckers? I have to be quiet because I'm in my mom's house. She pays for everything. What up, motherfuckers? Fuckers. Kate, turn your phone on silent if you could, please. Yeah, I know. I'm sorry. This is, Oof. This is a professional operation. Oh, yeah. Ah, yeah, what the fuck? Don't lie to her. You love me. You love me. Whatever. You love me. We do. We do. <laughs> we love you. Oh, my God. Okay, we got chats. Uh, Matthew Perry's bloated corpse. Stevie Lou has 272 subs on YouTube. What a guy. Again, you're making up new rules to try to make yourself feel better about being wrong. I never said Stevie Lou has one of the most popular podcasts. I never said Stevie Lou is one of the biggest guys. No, he's a complete nobody, as am I. What's your threshold, loser? You know, his podcast only has five views, so it's not a podcast. He only has 272 subscribers, so he's not a guy. He's still a guy. He's still a guy. <laughs> Keep on coping. Uh, thank you, though, Matthew Perry's <laughs> bloated corpse. Uh, Waver, thank you. Good to see you back. Where's Pulper? And by the way, Ian, you better unblock, you better unspurg Pulper in our Discord right now. Be Smiley, 99 cent super sticker. Thank you very much. Maybe Be Smiley, Waver, and Pulp are all the same guy. Matthew Perry's bloated corpse. Corey Adam has 1,600. Definitely a guy. All right, well, now I'm learning. I'm, di I'm dialing in your... <laughs> I'm learning where your range is for, like, what's an acceptable guy. 1,600 is also nothing. 10,000, also nothing. It's why we're all laughing about all this. Kevin Brennan is like shitting on. Kevin Brennan has like 800 live viewers and shits on people with 500. It's like any, any one of us parasites sitting here thinking we're a thing is retarded. It really is. It's why, you know, it took me a year and a half to even think about doing this hack of mania. It's like, okay. All right. We'll have a gathering for 100 loser nerds. All right. We'll do it. Uh, Seamus. Anyway, thank you very much, Matthew Perry's bloated corpse. I'm, I'm, uh, you know, I'm very, very grateful. Seamus McAnus, member for seven months. Is Lemmy a guy? Uh, I know what you're doing, but yeah, I think she is. She is a guy. Kevin Brennan makes ten times what you do. Again, no one. Maybe you're right. I don't know. I don't know what Kevin Brennan makes. I don't really give a fuck. I mean, I really don't. I'm not. Uh, maybe that's Kevin Brennan's new alt. Matthew Perry's bloated corpse. It makes sense. No one's arguing with you, you know. <laughs> You're like, Stevie Lou only has five viewers. Okay. Corey Adam has 1,600. Okay. Kevin Brennan makes 10 times more than you. Okay. You know, I. if, if it's all even true. Okay. What if Kevin makes 20 times more than me? Should I just unplug all this right now and quit? <laughs> Joe Rogan makes a million times more than you. Okay. Like, how does that, how shall I let that affect my day? You know, I, I've never, I got to be honest with you. I've never once in my life thought, about my scale of income on a scale of zero to what Kevin Brennan makes. I don't even think Kevin Brennan's making much money. Why is he, why is he panicking? Why is Adam down to three days a week? Why all the solo shows? Why the two a days? Why the seven days a week? He's like, I took off, uh, I took off Sunday. I took off Sunday. Oh, thank you. Ian Hawk. July 1st, 2023, Stevie Lou comedy co uh, coverage on NLO. We've definitely done it, beloved chatter. I'm not just razzing your, your, uh, I'm not just blowing raspberries on your, on your buttocks. Is that a thing people do? 
Um, Kevin's panic. Yeah, I do think Kevin's panicking. Kevin has always been worried about money, but now, ne- but it's always been other people's and him like pounding his chest bragging. And now all his money complaints are about his money. I can't keep paying people. Adam's not even on anymore. Five days a week. Like, I mean, what's going on? And he does it under the guise of like, I just like to do it alone. Cause I have the freedom and I can do anything I want. Two weeks ago, you were making fun of me for doing shows alone. Melton doesn't have guests on because he can't. It's like, which is it? Which is it? I mean, I, 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 he's like, a, I think Kevin Brennan is like a quantum computer. He feels everything and anything all at once. Literally one day he was yelling like, Melton's on vacation? Melton's on vacation? And all he does is tweet about me on vacation. Like, what a loser. Go enjoy your vacation. The next day, he's literally screaming, uh, why can't Melton do shows from Hawaii? He didn't bring his laptop? (laughs) Yes, I didn't bring my laptop. (laughs) Why can't Melton do shows from Hawaii? I mean, he can, but Melton doesn't hate the people he travels with. (laughs) Uh, Rick and I don't get along but you know he rick paid for the whole trip so the fuck do i know the fuck do i know salvatore m mr k everything does have painted black toenail (laughs) so do i i can't tell if they're painted black or they're just atrophying from the diabetes but they're black either way they're black Mr. Kill Everything has black fingernails. I'm like, he does? And the guy's like, I don't know. I make a lot of shit up. But (laughs) it's like, yeah, but the first thing you made up, I thought he was like a clean cut guy. The clip I saw, Mr. Kill Everything, didn't he have a vest on and like a suit and tie and stuff? Isn't Isn't he like a Brooks Brothers kind of man? All right, here's Kate Meany. She thinks, you love me. You love me. You love me. <laughs> she was watching the show. She knows better than that. Kate, were you watching us tonight? Did you see our Stuttering John episode? from? No, I actually did not tune in until later because I have better things to do with my time. I just really don't like the girl here in the right corner, and I can actually verb- verbally. There we go. That's what the that's what the caller is making fun of. I can actually verbally assault her. <laughs> I don't like the girl here in the right corner, and I can actually verb verbally annihilate her. Okay, you drunken pill queen. <laughs> Let's hear it. I could actually verbally assault her. <laughs> okay. Um, anonymous. <laughs> So Adam has a podcast now? I mean, I imagine Adam will probably start one at some point. What if he ends up doing a (laughs) tell-all? Joey always liked you, Pat. He thought of you more as a successful, as his more successful little brother. Well, we do wish Joey the best. Uh, We hope he gets, uh, gets the treatment he deserves. What's going on with Joey? Could jo- Joey, could you call in from the hospital? Or, or Christina C., you know, we've had a truce for quite a while now, Christina C. I know you're watching. Can you call in and just give us an update on Joey? Poor Joey in the hospital. Mersh has a Krang. Hold on, a Krang? Oh, Krang is like uh, Quado. From Total Recall, right? It's like a thing that lives in your stomach. Krang was like a brain. God, it's been so long. Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtle. Krang was like a brain that lived inside some He-Man, you know, big bulky looking guy's stomach tank or something and operated him like a mech warrior. And... Quato was like a baby inside of, you know what I mean? Quaid, Quaid. <laughs> a robotic suit? Is that what it was? 
A robotic suit. I thought it was like this muscly, bald guy. I don't really remember. I'm going to have to look up Krang after this. I got to get back into Krang. <laughs> I got I to gotta get back into Krang. He was a brain in a tank on top of a robot body. Hold on. He was on top? I, why were I thinking he was in the stomach? Because I'm getting it mixed up with Quato. What are you talking about, nerd? Yeah, I, I agree. I'm lost on this one. Shannon Sharp and Chad Ochocinco get 30,000 live views. Um, a big fucking deal who wants to hear jovial stories and conversation. Who gets more super chats? Hit like you fucking cowards. Yeah, Kevin's so delusional. Last week he convinced himself he makes more money than Shannon Sharp and Opie and Anthony combined. He, I guess, I guess, I mean, this is how dumb KB is. I guess he was watching some show with Shannon Sharp and they got like a few $5 super chats. And so Kevin went on and screamed, I make more than Shannon Sharp. Meanwhile, you know, Shannon Sharp's probably making millions of dollars from a contract. <laughs> He doesn't even understand super chats. Nor does do you think Shannon Sharp gets the check for the super chats, you fucking idiot? On whatever channel, you know, I don't even know what fucking Shannon Sharp does. But in oh, he's he's talking about in super chats. But Kevin's whole world is super chats. It's again, it's like it's a guy who's telling you he's never made money in his life. That's what Kevin Brennan's doing. It's like Kevin Brennan thinks everything is YouTube. It's like Chad, because Chad and Kevin are making more money than they've ever made in their life off YouTube. So they assume everyone else is doing that. I, I, I'm i not like, if YouTube went away, it doesn't even really affect my bottom line. Again, I want you to join the overdose. This is where I make my money. For the love of God, and it's way out of date, it'll all be caught up today. I just couldn't. I just couldn't and wouldn't and don't. I'm a one-man operation. Sometimes it's gold and flows, and sometimes it don't. I try to apologize. I try to make good, but I suck. It's like I, I've made a living off this podcast for 14 years since I quit my day job. I've never done one fucking thing outside of that. I've never driven Uber or run DoorDash, you know, like all these losers do. I don't do Task Rabbit. I'm not a bike courier. I don't deliver Chinese. The overdose has paid my living since I quit my day job in 2009. So, it, you know, believe me, don't get me wrong. I make way more on YouTube today than I did a year ago today. Thank you. It is appreciated. It's not nothing. I'm not, I'm not Kevin Brennan where I'm going to go, it's insignificant. It's 16% of my income. It's insignificant. It's like, okay, idiot. It definitely contributes to the bottom line. It's definitely good. It's definitely nice. And thank you. But that's all Kevin Brennan and Chad can think of. They only think of YouTube because they don't make money from anywhere. I guess Patreon. Kevin knows he gets money from Patreon. Overdose is my Patreon, and this has been going for, we started Sabsy, it used to be called, in 2006. So, I mean, it's just, you know, but they think everything is YouTube. I, I didn't do a lot. I didn't do a live podcast and start paying attention to YouTube until 2021, 2022, whatever it was. We, you know, we were on Ustream until 2018, 19, then we tried Twitch. And then, we're, and then we're over here at YouTube. So uh, when, when I started doing YouTube in 2021, we had 2,000 subscribers. Now, people look at my, the age of the YouTube account. They'll go, oh, Melton's had a YouTube account since 2007, whatever it is, 2007. And he only has 10,000 subscribers. Eight of them I've gotten in the past year since I started trying. I'm like, Chad, I, I started taking it seriously. Go go look. We never did a live show until like two years ago. Never, ever, ever, ever. So the minute I started doing YouTube, it started growing.
So, yeah, if you stretch it out over 20 years, it's kind of pathetic if you go, wow, 10,000 subscribers, 20 years. No, 10,000 subscribers, two years, two, two. Still not great. Don't get me wrong. I'm not puffed up about it. I'm a loser with nobody watching my channel. I understand that when Kevin Brennan doesn't. I get it. But it's not as pathetic as people would have you believe. It's not like I've been sitting here trying to get YouTube to work for 20 years. That's insane. That's insane. I missed the YouTube boat. I'll be the first one to fucking admit it. I never took YouTube seriously until way after the pandemic, after Twitch started being weird. So you, you have stuff to make fun of, but you're making fun of the wrong thing. Melton didn't get YouTube. He didn't understand YouTube. He didn't think it was important. He didn't think it was a big deal. You are correct. But you should, but your argument that like Melvin's been trying to make his YouTube successful since 2007. It's like new, <laughs> new. <laughs> but again, if it makes you feel warm, if it makes you feel nice and cozy, you can tell yourself that and beat yourself up about it. Chad does. Even by that metric, he's losing. You know, I don't, I don't, I don't get it. I don't get it. Chad made the announcement last year he was going to start taking YouTube seriously and kick everybody's ass and failed. I did no such thing and have still kicked ass at it. And I think we had 6,000 subscribers when when uh when we started covering Steel Toe. So I gained four myself before then over the over the previous year. And we were we were averaging 60, 70 live viewers a show on YouTube when we did live shows at 10 p.m. on Sunday night. That's when I used to do shows. We only started doing the morning stuff because of Steel Toe, and it worked out. It was very fortuitous. I, I, no one's denying what Chad says. Like, Melton used to get no views. Yes, and now I get some views. Thank you. It's called growth. You're not going to shame me about it. I don't understand. You know, Chad, Chad and KB are the only guys who think it's an insult to say that someone's grown their channel. Melton used to have nobody. Oh, shit. Who even cares? Who even cares? Um. All right. Anyway, thank you. Oh, what are we doing? Did I miss him? Radish. Real question is, have we hit the goal yet? Yay or nay? Who even knows? Who even knows? I don't. I mean, we're not tracking money over here. Uh, that's the point. I, I do think Kevin's losing money or something. Something's up. Why is he so panicky about money? Oh, he's doing this other thing now? This is my favorite new one. It's called interloping the Dabbleverse. <laughs> yeah, I do believe that. Kevin's new one? This is crazy. I mean, this will blow your mind. I know we have people in here who, like, own businesses. So this this has to be funny to everybody with a business. This has to be <laughs> Kevin's new thing is I don't get paid to the 21st and I pay everybody out immediately. It's like, okay. Everyone with a business does that. Everyone with a business does that. You know, I mean, almost anybody who sends out invoices or bills people or whatever, it's like an, on a net 30, net 60, net 90. These are normal rules. These are normal rules. Now, look, join up with Super Tip when we launch the official service. Again, there's a lot of confusion about this. No one has Super Tip. No one's using Super Tip except me. We're n we wouldn't release this in its current condition. It's not ready. Things don't work. It's got a lot of bugs. We're fixing it up. Even then, we're going to bring on a couple people to beta test it. It won't be a completely done product. But I would never you know, release this to people with without being semi-feature complete. Kevin's new thing is going like, I pay. I have to pay everybody out right away, but I don't get paid till the 21st. It's like, are you poor? I mean, no one in their right mind would complain about that. Of course you have to pay out the people instantly. Or don't, by the way. Or, or, or don't. Pay them out on the 21st. They don't care. That, that's not a thing to anybody else, but Kevin, it's a big deal. He keeps going, I got to, I got to, they don't, I don't get my money until the 21st. They, they and I got to pay out everybody right away. It's like, can you not float a hundred dollars here and there for your guests? I mean, what's going on? He's, he said it the past two pay periods. He's been like 
indicating that he like needs money when it when the twenty first rolls around. And the and the way he attacked me, he was like, you know, when Melton gets back, he's it's just gonna be begging and begging for money to pay for this vacation. It's like it is. <laughs> do you th- what kind of white trash do you think I am? You think I took a vacation that I can't afford? You think I you think I took a vacation that's not paid for and then I'm going to come back and go guys I really need you to get your hundreds in <laughs> I mean it's projection it has to be projection he has to be out of money when when the 21st rolls around what what is this about Don't put my, don't put words in my mouth I'm not I don't need people to pay for a thing I just did I I wouldn't have done the thing I just did if I couldn't Afford the thing. And believe me, it was a lot of money. Kevin's wife is probably beating him as we speak. You think she does that? You think Kevin's wife beats him? I don't know. I don't know. The, the point is, uh, Kevin's Kevin's trying to tighten up. He's, he's not got Adam on anymore. He's bitching about having to pay people. He's saying he's not going to pay people anymore. He's he's doing the thing too with like with like uh, Ray or Stevie Lou where he goes like, you do his show for free, but you want me to pay you? It's like yeah, you offer to pay. Carl doesn't offer to pay. Carl knows that there's value in people doing his show, and then Ray and Stevie Lou and Tuki they also understand that when they do Carl's show, they get a bump. You know, I I went on Carl's show for for something with Chad or something once, and they tried to you know they were like, you want to stick around and make fun of Stuttering John, and I was like, no. <laughs> um, but I I imagine if I played ball and went on Carl's show and mixed it up with about Stuttering John shit, um, more often that that people would come over here from that show. I mean, it gets it gets more views than all of us probably. You know, I don't know. Carl's clips seem to get a lot of views. I've, I, be honest with you, I've never really watched Carl's show, but I watch the clips all the time. Um, especially about Chad or Kevin or stuff. Not so much the Stuttering John ones, but I will, I will watch a Stuttering John one here and there. Not, not the long ones. Um, they're entertaining. I don't know. The guy makes fun of people, and I think it's funny. Yeah, but Carl has weird teeth. Yeah, but Carl has weird hair. It's like I'm ugly as fuck. And God forbid we pull up a picture of you. What's happening? I don't. I, I covered this on one of the reels and our shorts I put up. It's like I, we're burger slobs over here. Like fuck. God, take your high pressure, fucking high high uh, qualifier mind somewhere else. You know, you you got all these standards and stuff. Get out of here. We're burger slobs. I, I I want fat, gross people. I want women with big, fat, ugly pores. <laughs> I mean, this is all everybody has. Like, Melton's fat. Melton's ugly. His fans are gross. Yes. Yes. Let Kevin have all the beautiful people, <laughs> you know? I, I would love, I, everyone should have to post a picture of themselves when they insult someone else physically. I'm aware that when I go after Planet with a palate, it's it's the fat calling the kettle fat. <laughs> I'm not saying that I'm not fat and gross. I'm not saying that I haven't whipped up something in my kitchen that you people would probably vomit at. When I was young, my my dad used to make peanut butter and butter sandwiches. I remember liking them. The thought of making that today makes me want to vomit. But I grew up white trash in Florida. Peanut butter and butter. And I bet it wasn't even butter. If I have to think back, I bet it was country crock in the gray-brown tub. Spread butter on one side of bread, peanut butter on another side of bread, and put it together and eat that as a sandwich. And I remember my dad would eat like six of these things. He was real skinny back in the day. And he would make them for me. And I ate one of those peanut butter and butter. Jared says my grandmother did that too. I don't know. Maybe this was like a wartime snack. (laughs) The thought of eating that today is disgusting. And the thought of making a video where I cook this for you and share with you the recipe is hilarious. Okay? So I wouldn't do that. 
But Planet with a Palette is. Planet with a Palette is buying store-bought boiled eggs and making making the grossest version of deviled eggs we've ever seen. We're going to watch it and tease it. I don't for one minute pretend I'm better than her or, you know, not just as sad and pathetic, just in different ways. I would never film you making, <laughs> I would never film myself cooking something disgusting. I'm trying to think of like the most disgusting thing I eat, like guilty pleasure. This is gross, but it's good. I'm trying to think. I'm trying to think. My wife has gotten me out of most of that bad eating habit. You know, just garbage. I'm trying to. Th I'm trying to think of something like disgusting that I think's good. But my only example I can come up with is when I was a kid. There's peanut butter and butter sandwiches. My dad used to pack them and take them to lunch. You know, he worked excavation. He would. He would take these peanut butter and butter sandwiches to lunch. And I used to. I. I have vivid memories of enjoying them. But can you imagine if I made a channel where I put. Hold on, peanut butter and Oreo, pizza rolls, pork. Yeah, pork. And I'm not embarrassed by my pork. My pork's fire. My pork's bomb. Leave me alone. Uh, movie eats macaroni salad. Oh, yeah, like the mac salad. Like, that's gross. Imagine it leaking out on air that you sit in bed at 2 a.m. drunk eating macaroni salad with a squirt bottle of mayo just topping off the mayo. It's like mac salad is already a gross, gushy noodles covered in mayo and, and you know, a splash of acid, if you know what you're doing. He's sitting there with a bottle of mayo, like topping it off with, that's embarrassing. That's gross. I have nothing in my life like that that you could discover. I, I, there's no secret thing. Melton probably lays in bed. And, first of all, I don't bring food upstairs. Unless it's to this studio in my basement for a bit, for a chuckle, for a bit. But he's sitting in bed drunk at 2 a.m. eating mac salad and squeezing mayo into it. And then the chat reacted appropriately going like, ugh. And then April had to defend him by just repeating what it was. It's a mac salad. It's a mac salad. Uh, in Minnesota, they have something called cheese curds, says Jared. I mean, first of all, they have those everywhere. And Wisconsin is more famous for the cheese curds than Minnesota. But I appreciate your homeless uh, attempt at being worldly, Jared. <laughs> Minnesota has these things called cheese curds? Mm. Every cheesecake factory probably has cheese curds. And by the way, if you've never had cheese curds, you're, ret you're retarded and missing out. Cheese curds are banger. Cheese curds are banger. They're, they're like mozzarella sticks, but better. And they squeak in your mouth like little Emmy. Uh -huh. <laughs> Go well, for let's, it. Let's drop them let's both hear it. out. Well, Eric, just give them the two to the screen. Why don't you take off that hat and why don't you take off those glasses? So this is what Kate Meany comes in with. It's Chad level stuff. Uh, let's take a look at you. I, I apparently Chad went over my show from last Friday. I, I I was literally on my way out the door, and um, I saw Chad was live, so I checked on it for a second. I had to drive, so um, I didn't have time to like. And I thought about for a minute, like uh, pulling down the show Chad was watching, making fun of it to make it go blank, because you know Chad would go, "Oh, he took the show down. What a bitch." What a bit, you know, when Chad does it all the time. But then I remember that I don't really care. And also I want, I want views. I don't, and I'm not Chad. Chad wants views as long as it's not Melton and Melton's audience making fun of Chad. Chad's like, that's only for fans. That's why Chad hides everything he does now. You want to talk about a year ago, Chad? You want to talk about a year ago? Chad used to do a podcast that you could watch for free. Chad used to have a show. Chad used to put out content as a comedian. He doesn't do that anymore. And you can say whatever the fuck you want about me. I got run off the internet by... I never stopped doing podcasts that were free and available. Find the time. Don't get me wrong. There would be a couple months here and there 
where I'd literally be in another continent doing shows nonstop every day and the podcast would suffer. You know, I'm not doing that now. Since the pandemic, I've done regular podcasts because I'm not traveling at all. I never, ever, ever, ever didn't do podcasts that people could watch. Chad hides everything he does now behind a paywall. Everything. He, he, he's like Kevin. <laughs> it works for Kevin because Kevin has fans and makes money. Chad puts it behind a paywall, 82 current Patreons. That's what somebody posted in our Discord, a screenshot from, from last week. 82 Patreons Chad's down to. 82. Holy shit. Throws it behind a paywall. Throws it behind a paywall. Everything he does. Chad is scared for regular people to see his content. Fact. Fact. Chad doesn't allow people to view his content for free anymore. It just it doesn't he doesn't it doesn't happen. So while Chad can sit here and think it's an own to go, Melton used to get five hundred total views on a video. Now he gets five thousand total views on a video. <sighs> First of all, sick burn. <laughs> Chad used to get 1,000 views on a video. Now he gets 82. <laughs> Who's more pathetic? Who, who's sadder? One of us has to run and hide everything we do behind a paywall. Um, You tell me. You tell me. Uh, Arizona Mesa. Tam. Is that what it is? Show sucks today. Get content like Ray and Chad, okay? <laughs> First of all, this show has been on for two and a half hours. That is four Chad shows. That is the, the length of four Chad shows, just so you know. Krang was the belly. Mersh is a bad guy, fat guy. Good point, Krautcat. Krang. Was the belly, Mersh is a bad guy, fat guy. Okay. I do miss you singing the guitar part and the steel toe intro song. It's time for, it's time for, it's time for movie and the script. Again, when someone makes makes your, your he's had that theme song for years. He's been playing that theme song for years. I put lyrics to it and he had to get rid of it. I'm helping Melton with a bit. I'm helping Melton make fun of my show. It's like that. It shows you he's feeling it. He's self-conscious. He got rid of the show. He got rid of that song. He won't play it anymore. Now it's steel toe. Boring show. <laughs> it's like, yeah, yeah. We made your theme song funnier and more memorable than anything you'd ever done, and then you had to get rid of it. Smart. My mom made me peanut butter and butters, too. Also white trash. So that's several people that said they've had peanut butter and butters. Peanut butter and butters. Made by their parents. Um, Fact. My dad used to make peanut butter and butter sandwiches with clam chowder and dip them. It's actually really good. Sweet and savory like white trash caviar. What's sweet in in peanut? Is peanut butter sweet to people? I guess if you never eat sugar, maybe peanut butter is a little sweet. But unless you have like a sweet clam chowder, which sounds... Which sounds like an insult and also gross. Sweet clam chowder, dog. No, trust me, that's some sweet clam chowder. That's that sounds disgusting. Before you even say a word about me. Oh, uh, uh, oh, let me go see those eye bags. Come on, show them to me. I'm 37 years old. I don't get lip fillers at 24. Yeah, I mean, what what exactly? Where am I? What exactly is the point here, Kate? It's like, she's double your age. Sorry, Lemmy. She's double your age, and you're like, uh, your forehead is ugly. It's like, Kate, you clearly got 
primped and preened at your mom's house for this? <laughs> is, is the competition who's prettier or who's a dumb cunt? You know, again, if, if, if you have to ask me who's better in bed, it's probably Lemmy, right? By a, by a mile. By a mile. I don't want to be fucked by a girl who doesn't have bags under her eyes. <laughs> I, I, I need you to have lived life. Kate Meany is going to lay there like, a, like an anal receptacle, just taking it. <laughs> Beloved chatter, I'll destroy you verbally. You're old. Yeah, I mean, that's it. That's it. And by the way, I used to have a bit about this that I never really did, but it is in my notebook. When you when you call someone old, all you're doing is making fun of them for not having died yet. <laughs> that's what you're doing. You're going like, oh, my God, you're still alive? No one can help when they're bored, so you're literally making fun of a person for not dying. How are you over 30 and not dead? You're so old. It's like, holy shit. Holy shit, are you out of ideas? Do you have nothing at all to say if this is what we're doing? Whoa, you're so fucking old. Jesus, you are old. Boom. I've had actual real life experiences. Yeah, you do have lip fillers. Hold on. I've always wondered Hold that, on, Derek. Derek. Let's step Just out. Curiosity. She has lip fillers, but it's all cum. Derek, let's you, I, and Bobby step curiosity. out. Derek, let's That's you, right. I, and Bobby step <laughs> out. <laughs> Somebody goes, not a great joke. You're right. That was the finished version of it. You're right. Good one, man. <laughs> but this annihilate me, Kate. What? Let, right. Let's let's hear all and annihilate me, Kate. All the information you have on me, I'm. Of course, she's got a big old glass of wine. Like Kate is already at the wall. Kate looks like a. The thing is, Kate looks like she's thirty-seven. <laughs> Kate doesn't get it yet, but like her asshole. If you carbon dated that, <laughs> if you counted the rings, Stevie and I like Bobby. I do not like you. So Kate's like, I like Stevie and I like Bobby. I did not like you. It's like, first of all, imagine that carrying any weight. Oh no, Kate Meany doesn't like me? The waitress? I don't care. <laughs> right. Okay, good. Uh -huh. Good. But I hear that you have three baby daddies. Is that true or false? First of all, like, what? Does Kate think this is good? Does Kate think, first of all, I don't even know if that's true about Lemmy. You know, it probably checks out, you know? But. I don't know if Kate's just jealous that Lemmy has children and Kate can't give anal birth. That is false. Then how many baby daddies do you have? I have the, why does it matter? Right. I mean, Kate's the only one who thinks we have to answer these questions. I mean, I, I can't believe you took your hat off. Kate told you to take your hat off and you're like, you obliged? <laughs> I'm not telling you my personal information. No, because you called me a whore. Yeah, you're a whore. You're an internet whore. You're an e-girl. You're a you're an anal pump and dump. Yeah. Yeah, we did call you a whore. So you have to tell me how many fathers you have to your children cuz you called me a whore. Good logic, Kate. There's a difference. Lemmy didn't come out and start talking about her children and her baby daddies. You came out and told everybody about your asshole and how it craves cock. Sucks on it. Like a baby suckling on a nipple. So why don't you tell me how many baby daddies you called me a whore. So why don't you tell me how many baby daddies you have? It's Kevin Brennan logic. <laughs> Kevin Brennan even tried to clarify. <laughs> Kevin Brennan's, you know, he's stupid. He doesn't know how the YouTube views thing works. So his whole comeback to that is, then how come Melton doesn't, isn't more famous? If Melton knows more about how YouTube works than me, how come he's not more famous? It's like, I mean, imagine those two things being connected. Imagine those two things being connected. It's like, what? And then to try to clarify it, he, he doubled down on it. He, he literally on his show, he was like, well, no, what I'm trying to say is like, if Melton knows how the YouTube numbers uh, work, 
then how come, you know what I mean? How come his channel doesn't get more views than mine? It's like, what are you talking about? Someone could literally memorize the YouTube handbook and not even have a channel and know all about YouTube and know YouTube more than you. But that's not even here nor there. I use my YouTube channel. I know how it works. I know how it works. I know right now this video has 1,628 views total. I also know if I stop it right now, that won't be the number that it says. It'll be 800 or something at this point. But he can't, he just can't understand it. He also has this other thought about buying views. So in his mind, they have to be connected and it has to be related because he wants it so bad. Yes, you have. Uh, I don't have to. That's my personal information. I don't. You called me a horse to so tell me how many baby daddies you have. <laughs> yeah, that is the rule. Like you either. I don't give people that I don't like my personal information. Yeah. <laughs> Big wine sip here from a loser. Big. Do you understand that? I'm 37. I've lived life. I'm not a fucking idiot. <laughs> yes. Yeah, I mean, you might be an idiot, Lemmy, but it's not because you're third. It's not because you're. Okay. Oh. Okay. Okay. Is this part of the verbal annihilation, Kate? Is this part of it? Why does nobody else other than this loser show have you on their podcast? I mean, hello, Kate. <laughs> Who? Why do you care? Why does Kevin? I'm a nobody. That's why. I'm a nobody. Oh, she just tried to go. Why does Kevin Brennan not have you on? Uh, That's why. Good at I'm an absolute nobody. She think because in her mind, Kevin Brennan's like the biggest podcast. <laughs> if you're so cool, how come Kevin Brennan never has you on? It's like you're the only one who thinks Kevin Brennan's like a cool guy with a big podcast. <laughs> her whole world is like Kevin Brennan, top of the pile. Oh, yeah? How come Kevin Brennan doesn't have you on? It's like, first of all, he would. He would. Kevin Brennan is, will have anyone on his podcast. You think there's a barrier? It's one of the reasons I stopped going on, if you remember. It's like, this is Joey C, Ski Mask, Stevie Lou. It's like, this is not a place you want to be anymore. This is for, like, Chad and uh kate meany and ski mask it's anyone can get on do you think little lemmy can't get on kb's show uh little lemmy member for six months might be fake two baby daddies third is a cousin so it doesn't count meany is such a cunt steel toe knows my business they deserve to know i mean nobody cares <laughs> nobody cares they deserve to know <laughs> Steel toe deserves to know. Buddy. And you got flapped up by a fucking nobody. So hard that you're here trying to annihilate me verbally. Let's hear it, bitch. But no, Whoa. No. Whoa. I want you to go at me first. Oh, now you want her to go at you first. This is Chad. They're the same. They really are the same person. Chad busted in the scene. Oh, yeah, Melton. I'm going to take you down. Go. <laughs> it's like, I never said I was going to take you down. You keep telling people that I keep saying I'm going to take you down or bring you down or I'm running shit. I've never said any of that. Nobody who watches Melton thinks Melton is running shit. I'm not, I don't, I don't want to run shit. Frankly, it's too much pressure. <laughs> I want to, I want to run this shit and barely and barely. I go on my own discord and I'm like, I don't know what's going on here. I really don't. It, it, it's for you guys. It's not for me. I appreciate they let me participate sometimes in the Discord, and not everyone's mean to me. Some people are mean to me on there. I don't ban them. I don't care. You're allowed to not like me. And I don't want the people who, like, I don't want people who are fra afraid to share their opinion or think everybody, uh, you know, Kevin thinks it's all ball washers. It's like, it's not even me. It's not even mean. It's It's for them. It's a place for them. It's not, you know, I, I'm, I'm glad that I get to participate. But now Kate Meany comes on. I'm going to verbally annihilate you. You first. <laughs> it's like, 
Chad. Chad, you were going to tear me apart. Go. Kay. Kay, you were going to tear her apart. You first. You first. Like, well, no. Lemmy, Lemmy's not running around saying she's going to tear Kate apart, as far as I know. Kate's running around telling everybody she's going to cease and desist. She's going to block. She's going to sue. She's going to dox. Kate's the one. Again, it's Chad. They're hurt. They don't know how to. Dumb people don't know how to communicate. They don't know how to tell you how they're feeling and present articulate arguments. So dumb people fall back to their feelings and their emotions, lash out, and it ends up making no sense. You know? Chad thinks I want to verbally spar with him. I've never indicated that. I've never said that. I don't want to talk to Chad. But when Chad comes face to face with me, he's like, come on, go, go. It's like, I never, I don't have anything. I don't, you wanted to come on the show. You had stuff to say to me. You go. Same with Kate Meany here. I don't remember Lemmy going like, bring her in. Get Kate Meany. Get Kate Meany on here. I want to verbally. No, no. Kate Meany, you were the one on the offensive going to verbally annihilate. Now, two minutes into flubbing and, and not having anything, really, you go, okay, I want to see what you're going to do first. Go. It's like, I mean, you're all pathetic. This is all sad, sad stuff. No. You said you were going to annihilate me. I didn't no, come no, at no. you. I didn't come at you. You said, I'm going to verbally annihilate this bitch. Lemmy's not ugly. Can I just say that? You know, I got, she's got a little, you know, dark librarian thing going on here, but she's not an ugly woman, I don't think. Let's. Her face seems symmetrical. Maybe she's got a big schnoz, but who doesn't? She's not an ugly woman. And again, like if I had to bang one, I'm picking Lemmy 100%. I, I, I couldn't even, you know, this is what we all do with women, right? We always tell which one we would fuck. That's what we do with women. They're holes. I, I, I yeah, a hundred percent. First of all, I just want to. I, I wouldn't want to hang out with Kate. She doesn't seem fun. <laughs> and like, who could who could tolerate all the dumb? I mean, I, I'd have way more data points than. I'd have way more data points than Dove for Lemmy. <laughs> uh, I mean, for Kate, for Kate. So. People are passing. Simpy Patty. Yeah, if anybody knows me, I've never hidden my true love for Lemmy. I'm always going on and on about Lemmy. I'm just saying if I had to pick one. If I had to pick one, 100%. Uh, Bowls deep. Patrick's kink for Steel Toe Mods is legendary. Stevie, Brandon, Lemmy. Who's Brandon? Who's Brandon? Um, I don't even know. Anyway, um... No, no, no. I would, I buy Lemmy a drink, and I, I wouldn't uh, hang out with Kate for more than two minutes. There's a reason Kate spends most nights uh, in her mom's guest room. Stop hitting on mods, Patrick. She's not my mod. <laughs> She's not my mod. <laughs> Lemmy is cute, but I'm a big fan of Kate's boobies akimbo. Yeah, her favorite boob, my favorite boob of Kate's is that one on her back. It's like a bee. Hear it. You're ugly. <laughs> You're ugly. Her voice wavered while she insulted her. Mm -hmm. No we go. style. You live in the middle. Hold on. What'd she say? You're ugly. Mm -hmm. No we go. style. You have no sense of style. Do I have to bring up the picture of Kate Meany with her legs spread on the floor of a comedy club with a vacuum cleaner in her hand? She's rolling around on a gross, carpeted, sticky comedy club floor with a vacuum. Rolling around on the floor. One of them, she's got her ass up in the air, laying on a comedy club table, lighting a candle. You have no sense of style. You're ugly. Your asshole can only hold one man at a time. You rarely do a show at your mom's house. You probably pay all your own bills. You know what you want to be when you grow up. <laughs> it's like you live in the middle of fucking nowhere. 
I mean, only idiots want to live in New York City. Uh, can I say that? I mean, I, I'm so happy I got out of New York before that pandemic. I mean, what loser? I mean, have you seen her? Her? Uh, have you seen her? Um, uh, apartment. Somebody posted Kate's address on Twitter, like her full full apartment address. And again, I, I'm against that. I'm against that. Whether it's me or anybody else, I'm against that. You shouldn't be doxing people's addresses. You shouldn't be telling uh, where people uh, live, work, children go to school, any of that stuff. Now, Kate Meany told us where her mom worked. I've only repeated information about Kate Meany's mother that is on Wikipedia or came out of Kate Meany's mouth. My mom has never dated a man since my father died. So they both swore off. I mean, I mean, maybe her mom's gay. I don't know. She put that all out there. My mom never dates. My mom's never gone on a date with a man since 2006 or 8 or whatever it is. Kate put that out there about her mom. I repeat that and I'm doxing. You're dumb. Google Kevin Meany's wife. It comes up. Marianne Halford, NBC executive. These are public facts. This isn't doxing. Everyone's real confused about what doxing is. Ever since Chad got confused about it. Kate does more doxing of herself and her condition than anyone in the world. <laughs> like, Kate, Kate does more doxing of... Her own text, everybody else text, her lovers, her past lovers' history, their embarrassing information, the guy she's dating now, phone call she's had, what she likes in her ass, what her mom doesn't like dating Why? I mean, you can't blame anybody for this stuff but, but your mama, but your mama. And then somebody posted Kate's address, which is not okay. I'm, I, this isn't a dog whistle. It's not a secret. Don't do this shit. It's not good. It's not right. It's not okay. Either way, I had to go check it out. Curiosity got me. So I copied and pasted that address into the old Zillow machine and was able to take a look. And it's it's sadder than we thought. Like when you look at her apartment when it's empty and doesn't have any furniture and you see how small it is in real life, it's depressing. And then you see it costs like twenty five hundred a month. Now, of course, she has no idea what that means. Her mother pays for that. She makes a waitress salary, which is enough for like spending money in New York. You know, she takes all the money she earns as a waitress and spends it on brunch and and colon cleaners and and lip fillers and you know having things sucked out of her ass and put into her lips. That's what she spends all her money on, you know, drugs and pills and wine. And meanwhile, her mom pays all her bills. So her mom's dropping three thousand thirty five hundred a month for all these bills. I, I I don't know, man. I don't know. It's it's tough to make fun of anybody um, for for how they live, but when you don't even control it, when your mom pays for all this shit, it's bad. It's bad. Oh, we got fake Chad in the chat. <laughs> I don't watch any of these shows. <laughs> and then yesterday, Chad with Mazer. Again, somebody get me that clip of Chad <laughs> going, Melton's life sucks. He's in Hawaii right now. His life sucks. <laughs> Beloved Chad, the only thing Kate has going for her is being an only child from a wealthy family. That's it. I mean, and she's spending all her mom's money. She spent millions of dollars on her education, and she's a fucking waitress. Even her education lets you know she doesn't have a fucking clue what she wants to do. She applied. She has a communications degree. She went to theater school for an under, you know, she w went to an art school and learned theater and singing when she was young. Then she graduated to the communications degree, which is the, the you know, it's it, it's the college equivalent of shrugging your shoulders. Yeah, give her a communications degree. <laughs> like a communications degree is like what you need to work at Staples. <laughs> it, it, like it's nothing. You you don't have a clue what you want to do. And then and then she's you know two years after college now waitress. 
two years after college. No acting, no comedy, waitress. It's not a pit stop. It's a career at this point. It's not like, you, you know, what, what dream are you having that like, no, 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 I'm just waitressing for a couple years. It's like backpacking around Europe, but it's backpacking around the Upper East Side. I'm just taking a couple years off. It's a gap year. What's the gap? Your asshole? I think it's filled. I think it's filled. So uh, two years after college, when you, when, you went to, when you went to art school for performing arts and you graduated college with a communications degree, and two years later you are a waitress, not even at a restaurant, at a comedy club. You know, we're talking about a club that's open six hours a night. So you can't even really work a full shift. And, and it's your family's business. So this is nepotism encapsulated in, in a complete lack of direction. You know. So, so two years after you graduated, we're, we're waitressing. And we've applied to nursing school. You couldn't be more fractured in what you want to do or where you think you belong or what direction. And you're putting this out there on these podcasts. Now, look, we'll probably stop talking about Kate Meany because it seems like and this may be a little limmy here. It seems like she may be asleep now. She she might go away, which is smart. It's smart. <laughs> it's it's very smart. I you know I, I you don't have anything to say. All you do is come on and cause drama and fight with people. What's the point? And again, I don't even have anything against Kate Me. People think you know you're mad at Kate Me and you hate Kate Me. I don't. I, this bitch came at me. I don't know who this bitch is. She came at me because we caught because we talked about what she said. Remember Keanu and Gino? Keanu called in. We we're talking about the anal stuff. She tried to strike five fucking videos out of nowhere. But it seems like for the past five days, week, she's been pretty quiet since her Twitter got deleted because she threatened to dox little Emmy's children. Blatantly on Twitter, she said, I'll fucking dox you and your kids. Let's go, bitch. I don't care. And that. That took care of her Twitter account. Bye. (laughs) So maybe she's gotten the point now. When she's not around causing shit, nobody goes after her. True. When I see your face, it makes me want to vomit. Again, that's not an own on Lemmy. You keep doing something that makes you ill? Why would you do that? You know, the same thing Chad does. Chad's like, I can't even watch Melton. I can't even watch Chad. But his whole podcast is watching Melton and Chad. I, you never hear me coming on here going like, I can't even watch Kate. I can't even watch Chad. Oh, I can watch. Oh, I can watch. And I like to watch. I enjoy watching. <laughs> I can watch. Chad, Chad has to do this cognitive dissonance thing where he lies to himself. I don't even watch Melton. Melton's stupid. I don't even... Oh, he's so dumb. All right, today we'll be watching Melton. <laughs> it's like, why would you do something that makes you crazy? Why would you make why would you make why would you do something that makes you nut? Kevin keeps calling her a child while Melton's going after children. I'm like, like KB's fucking retarded. No offense. Like KB's retarded. <laughs> and you go on Maybe you'll lose a few pounds in your arms. Ah unnecessary. Cheap shot, Lemmy. I already have. <laughs> I already have. Remember when Spider Alomar shaved because he made fun of his thing? And then he, he did it like an own. Like, and hey, Melton, you said I couldn't grow hair. Well, I shaved it off. <laughs> it's like, oh, who do you think that? <laughs> did you get me? Or how does it? And then, and then we're all like, Kate, your arms are fat. She's like, I know. I'm working on it. <laughs> it's like, whoa. Oh. oh. We got one confirmed. <laughs> that was good. Let's go. Is this the verbal annihilation, Kate? This is this the show where Kate found out she's worthless? Is this the moment Kate realized she has nothing to offer? She literally started out two minutes ago going, I'm gonna verbally annihilate you. And then she gets into her own head and goes, fuck, it's empty in here. There's nothing to throw out. And I hear from people on Twitter, you want to hear what I read about you? Sure. Wow. No confidence. It's all gone. 
and I heard from Hima on Twitter that yes, that I fuck my cousin. Let me see. Let me see what I heard about you on Twitter. Again, even if she does, you know, as long as the cousin's okay with it. I I I really mean that. I really mean that. Like, if you want to fuck your cousin and your cousin wants to fuck you, if you want to fuck your mom, and look, it's gross, and we're gonna talk about it and judge, but. I don't know, you know, I'm not going to knock on the door and be like, you guys really shouldn't, <laughs> you know. She can go to the notes. You can go, to you go. go to your notes. Is this part of it, Kate? Is this part of it, you stupid bitch? Ugh, imagine doing all this from your mom's house. You know how to points. Go to the data points. Oh, your take data it easy. Points. That's enough. That is. <laughs> is that Chad calling you? No. Okay. Hmm. Little Lemmy has three kids with three different dads. One is her cousin through marriage. Hold on. So part of you verbally annihilating her is just reading something you read on Twitter. Lance says. <laughs> He's one of the BYB crackheads. They met at a meet and greet for the podcast show. And then he proceeded. To the Hold on. She met her cousin at a meet and greet for the podcast show. Sure. She fucked her own cousin and had a kid with him. They met at a podcast meetup. Hold on, she met her cousin. Wouldn't they meet at Thanksgiving? This is Little Lemmy's cousin through marriage, but also her husband's mugshot. Yeah, you know what else is on? You know what my husband's mugshot is on? Well, it's on Twitter, so. First of all, we're not married. I uh, In my merch shop, I have a mug with Granny's mugshot on it. So if you want to go to my merch site... And see Granny's merch site and Gran see Granny's mug shot. You can get it on an actual mug. I have no idea where you're getting your information. But, but is it's it not true? From people who know me. But is it true or false? Is what true or false? The, the BYB meetup was a good time. Yeah. We did we have, have a good time. We, a, we, we met at a BYB meetup. And is that does he have the mug? Is he does he have a mug shot? I mean, how pilled up is this stupid bitch? She just told you he has a mugshot, and she sells it on a mug. She just told you that. And Kate's so confused, she goes, is it true? Is it true? And she's like, what? Does he have a mugshot? I mean, how far behind is this bitch? I'd rather fuck my cousin than be retarded. I really would. I really, really would. This Kate's four minutes behind here. Is it true? Does he have a mug shot? <laughs> yeah, on a mug in my merch shop. Yeah, I just told you this. Keep up, Kate. <laughs> have you ever been arrested? Have you ever been arrested? Me? Why are you asking me all these weird personal questions? Because I want to know. No, but you were going to annihilate her, not do an interview. Ugh, this bitch is fucking retarded. Oh, please, please, please just shut up already, Patrick. <laughs> it's about time you come back to New York and pork my rear burnt whole wheat Cheerio. Ah! I want you to 9-11 my ass so hard that I can finally have my anal baby. <sighs> Anal baby. No, 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 little Kate. Melton is my man, and he's going to be too busy for New York. Him and I are going back to Hawaii, so the warm weather can marinate my rot pocket for Patrick to get a big old whiff of my scrimp and Pearl Harbor my sliz like Ben Affleck. Ugh. A cousin through marriage? That's not a real thing. <laughs> Guys, I don't know what you're talking about. Kate's owning her right here. So just just keep coping. But Kate is on fire. Too bad. Because you think there's a sausage full of all the dicks that I've had inside me and that you're going to tag me in that on Twitter. What is she? She's so pilled out of her head. Look at her. She's almost asleep. You think there's a sausage full of all the dicks that have been inside me and you're going to tag that on Twitter? I can't even break down what the fuck that sentence means. You think there's a sausage 
full of all the dicks that have been inside. What? What? I got to wind it back. I What the fuck does that even mean? Yeah, she is lethargic. That's a good word. Too bad. Because you think there's a sausage full of all the dicks that I've had inside me and that you're going to tag me in that on Twitter? I, I don't even know what that means. Okay, let's see. What? I just <laughs> he even, Stevie Lou had to come on and go, huh? I want all let's see, all that these three hundred and <laughs> Stevie Lou had to just pop on to go. What? Seventy hold on. Three hundred and seventy nine people are witnessing right now that Kate Meany got so fucking triggered by a stupid Twitter post that I just thought was funny that she's been thinking about it for fucking days. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. She admit she admitted on KB's show that her mother and her got in a giant fight over her internet presence. Because if you Google Kate Meany, it's just all anal, anal, anal. Kate Meany loves it in the ass. Kate Meany sucks. Kate Meany's not funny. Kate Meany loves loves dudes in her ass. And then and then you know, uh, and now the sausage thing. But Kate Meany also has come on many shows many times and said that she's crying. I spent last night crying because of something I read on Twitter. I cried because of a podcast I watch. It's like, bitch, how do you even like, uh, imagine Chad talking to her for five hours going like, no, she's funny. She's stirring up shit in this world. She's crying. I'm not kidding. I've cried zero times about any of this ever. Cried. Cried. <laughs> Cried. Cried, drinking wine, crying, and then comes and tells us about it. Melton made me cry. Melton made me cry. Good, good. Go further, go further. What else can I make you do? And that she tried to verbally, and she's trying to gain all this crazy information about me from people who don't know me, first of all. And then, and then, because this didn't work, you know, she pictured this going a different way, just like Chad, when he when he attacked me on Kevin's show, and then he had to go tell Chad goes and tells everybody like he beat Melton down on MLC. Melton got removed. <laughs> Melton got taken away, and you got protected. But however you need to spin it, and then after this didn't work, this attack on Lemmy, Kate, you know, falls flat on her face and looks like an idiot like a fucking doped up idiot like she is. I mean, this chick is just switched off. She's numb. She's dead behind the eyes. She makes April Brooker's puppets look like lively ladies. So after this didn't work, Kate ran to Twitter, just like Chad, and is like, I'll dox you then, and I'll dox your kids. Because they don't know what to do with their feelings. They're dumb. They're dumb up here and don't know how to, like, verbalize what they want to say and how they're feeling. And how it's making them feel. So they think they'll attack with like doxing or like, oh yeah? It's like, it's like that doesn't get to people who don't care. Dox me. Dox my wife. Dox my, my uh, address. Dox my, who cares? Who cares? Did it make you feel better? Good. That's all that matters. That's all that matters. If you dox her and her children, then that means you're not a stupid cunt, <laughs> right? That means you have brains. That means you know what you want to do with your life. That means you're not a total failure who mooches off mommy's money. If you dox Lemmy's children, then you're not a complete loser, Kate, right? Oh, wait, they're unrelated, and that's just you lashing out because you're unhappy with your own status. Right, 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 right. So you have fun with that. Say that you do sell. Yeah, they can't vernalize, so they attack Famlogy. Famlogy. A mom. You got triggered by a post I made on you Twitter. You're right now. Anyway, you're fucking. All right, all right, let's let's take. I mean, holy shit! Imagine announcing you were gonna tear somebody apart, and this is all you had. <laughs> maybe a quick break. Let's maybe. 
Okay. Round you one. never been called a whore yeah, before? I can't right, believe yeah. that. Ding, I don't ding, believe ding. that in my life. Hit the bell, hit the bell Bobby Nick thing. With uh, Kate is on Xanax, confirmed. Ditsy dumb bit. I mean, yeah, I mean, she seems switched off. She just seems like not there, right? The bell, bing, 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 bing. Yeah, all right, round one is over. You going to go let's, after everybody who calls you a whore on the internet? Let's go to <laughs> oh, what a long line. Our corners. Let's, let's go to our neutral corners. Let's go to the, the, you know. No, no, no. No, 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 I mean, she can't even say no, no, no. No, 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 I'm sorry, how many syllables was that? Somebody calls me a whore. No, no, no. No, no, no. Hold on, let's let's wind it back. Corners. Let's go to the the you know. No, no, no. No, no, no. no. Hold on, I think Kate might be emailing me now. Um, who's this? Kate called into Gino's show and apologized a few days ago. I mean, I saw that clip. Where Gino like cut her off. It's first of all, she couldn't even she didn't even know what she was apologizing for. She I'm not kidding you, she's learned nothing. She she does what Joey C does. I mean, they're all Chad, Joey C, Kate. They're all like mental midget. I'm not kidding. If you tested their IQ, they'd all be well under a hundred. Well. Like like well. Well like like and they all can't stop telling you about their education and their, it's like stuttering John can't stop pounding his chest about his intellect. It's like, okay, I guess. I mean, we've, we've all been, pro we've seen otherwise. It, it, it's not, it's not there. It's not clicking. No, 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 no. She's like Joey C. I, I, I get it now. I understand everybody's. I get what trolls are now. No, you don't. No, you don't. Because you still keep having meltdowns. Like Joey C will be like, I get it now. Nobody really means it. It's just razzing me. Just chipping me. I got it. I got it. And then the next day, somebody will chip him again and he'll lose his shit. And chew a bottle of water about it. You know, it's like, I mean, it never gets better. It's, it never gets better. Balls Deep, thanks for becoming a member. Colin Madden, uh, Piggy Piggy Chad, the Randy Lad, aspired to bang a meanie. Pretty true. Elegant Elliot, right, right. Rip Joey C and the soon-to-be unhoused Floor Newports. Where's Heather going to sleep? Moody, member for 33 months. Get a life. The thing Kate has going for her is that she's young. Lemmy has never looked more attractive than in comparison to Kate. Lemmy should pay Kate to follow her around and she'll find number four in no time. I mean, it is true. It is true. Um, BYB podcast. Vox Celeste, episode 63. Following dad. Very insightful. I don't know what. I guess check that out. What have you told us what it was so that, you know. I'm not going to go click on a podcast. I'm not going to go search for a podcast I've never heard of and look it up unless you give me some clickbait title. You got to give me more. You got to give me more. Very insightful. Well, I don't Google things on the basis of insight. Somebody calls me a whore and they are a whore, then I'm going to call them a whore. How many dudes have you fucked, Kate? I fucked five. In your I've life? only had sex with three, and I'm 37, and you're 24. Horror! Holy shit, big if true. So who's the whore? Whoa! She don't even know what to say to that. She don't even know what to say to that. Both of you got to get your numbers. I up. mean, Kate is just speechless. It's hard to believe she's not on something, right? I mean, this bitch is drugged out of her mind. This ain't just wine. This is wine and pills. It's the same thing that happens to Chad, right? He's got a, he's on something and Tito's, right? Up. Oh, that's yeah. You're both slack and fucking. I don't believe it. Yeah. So every time you've had sex, oh, yeah, I don't care. I don't believe it. Well, 
I guess we're at an impasse then. I don't care if you believe it or not. Imagine doing this. This is like what Chad wants to do with me. Melton can't go toe to toe. It's like, I mean, can or don't wanna. I'd rather talk about Chad all day than to Chad. What am I gonna? What do you what? What would it, what would be the point of talking to Chad? Chad's a loser. Chad lies about everything. Chad, you know, aside from like it being funny, like it was when he came on MLC, I'm just gonna sit there and laugh at a, at a clown. Chad thinks I want to like straight. Why why do people talk? Okay, why do people talk? They need something from one another. I don't. They want to fix a misunderstanding. I don't. Chad can say anything he wants about me. Sure. Sure. Red bar ran him off the internet. <laughs> I'm still here, but sure. <laughs> Which was the episode where I ran off the internet? Just out of curiosity, I'd like to go back and watch it. It's like Louis J. Gomez gaslighting himself. I watched it. I watched Melton's whole soul melt from his face on an episode. What ep What episode? I need to go back and put that in the best of rotation on the NLO 24-7 channel. My soul melting episode? I, I need to know. I want to go back and I really want to watch it. Oh, wait, it didn't happen. That's a thing you say to make yourself feel better. Why does it make you feel better, though, Chad? You know, again, why would I, what, talking to Chad for what, for why, why would I? No, because you say he's a loser and he wants to straighten it out that he's not. It's like, what? No, because you make fun of him and he's got a rebuttal for all that stuff. He doesn't. He doesn't. Chad has never once watched me talking shit about Chad and rebutted a thing that I've said and made a claim about him. What Chad does is say, look at this guy. Look at this guy. I saw it early. I knew he was trouble. He had everybody else fooled, but I saw it early. I knew it. He turned on me. I blocked him. I saw behind the curtain. He's not that guy. Melton thinks he's running shit. I'm not scared of him. He's never once addressed any of the things. <laughs> all he has is Melton suck. He's not that guy. That's all, that's all he really... You know. Okay. I'm not that guy. Got it. So you have three kids, and every time you've had sex, you have gotten pregnant with a child. So obviously. So Lemmy says she's had sex with three people. She said she had two baby daddies. And Kate's going, so every time you had sex, you got pregnant? So she thinks... Because she's had sex with three people, she only had sex with those people once and got pregnant. This is what we're dealing with, with Kate Meany, Mary Ann Halford's daughter. Obviously, you're really, really bad at using birth control. And now, is this, a, is this another? I can't tell what the insults are. Do you know what I mean? Was that a slam? Was that a Kate slam? So, obviously, you're really bad at birth control. <laughs> I mean, send it. <laughs> oh, She's fucking retarded, guys. Right, right, right. I mean, why even? It, this, is what I, this is what I would look like if I argued with Chad. It's like, uh, just let her talk. Just let her talk. The taxi staff says, watch her hand. Watch Kate's hand. Guys, um, I think she might be legit Kate, retarded. You can have. Kate, Mary, Mary, Matt, Mary in the Bible had a kid that. without even having sex once. So that's true. Like, true. Aren't you Jewish? <laughs> Is she trying to call me like a virgin who's only had sex three times? Do, do I look like a person with old property? Hey. You're literally just a waste of time and energy. I mean, what it Imagine this being your affect and trying to act like you're owning people. You're literally just a waste of time and energy. That's what everyone would say about you, Kate. That's what everyone would say about you. And you have zero importance <laughs> in the world. And you're just 
ugly motherfucker who's 37 streaming and calling a 24 year old a whore. Listen, I think. Y yes. <laughs> yes. And I'm a 44 year old streaming and calling a woman a whore. Ladies and gentlemen, I think we have a call. I think we have a call here that's going to change the direction of this show forever. Hello. That's right. How about it there? <laughs> Aloha. <laughs> Aloha. How you doing, Miss Middleton? I'm fine. They, did they call you Howley in Hawaii? I don't know. No, Hawaii? I, I try not to talk to natives. You see those Howleys? They call you Howleys. They call us Whiteys. Howleys out there in Hawaii. <laughs> They're very I'll racist. What, They're very KB racist. Would... No, there's nothing wrong with that. Oh, okay. Aren't we all? <laughs> <laughs> hey, and Mr. KB would say Lemmy got victimized here. She got destroyed. She froze up like Mr. Melton. How about that? Yeah, yeah. I'm surprised KB didn't come on and take her out. The roast judge, Mr. KB. All right, do it. Hey, Mr. Melton, when you go on vacation, it reminds me of those videos you watch of drones and they drop that bomb and they take off. That's yeah. kind of like you on the devil verse. <laughs> you know why that is? Got him! You ready for it? You got him! You got him, Mr. Melton! You got him! That roofing cut! You got him! Jesus Christ! <laughs> Reloading. Uh, crowd cat. I've dated a few girls who are just like Kate. Rich, no real responsibility. Mommy and daddy paying the bills. They get Xanax from the Famigli doctor. She's drinking while on Xanax. Mersh, fat, Krang. Good point. Uh, hello. Patrick, it's me, Kate. Hi, Kate. I, uh, I'm 24 and you're 40. Yeah. Why are you... Not like Kate Minnie. <laughs> that is her argument. It's like, why are you so old? How come you're not young? <laughs> why aren't you beautiful like Kate Minnie? I mean, I get it. I call Kevin Brennan an old fuck, but you know. Chad's beautiful. He's such a sweet man, and Kate like. Yeah. Okay, you're making me. I'm having an actual sick reaction to your voice. <laughs> <laughs> All right, take it easy, bud. Bye. Thank you. <laughs> Jesus Christ! It's like his him doing that rah, is actually making me gag. Like I, I feel it in my throat. Um, people think that was uh, Tukey. It was not Tukey. I can verify, but it's very. I get why you think that. But every time he was going like, ugh, ugh, I actually feel it. I actually feel it. I think Accurate. you're both attractive ladies. I think He's you're both pretty. Attractive. What was that, Stevie? I think you're both pretty ladies, so I, I have to refuse. Well, she's not. She's not. Hello. Hi, it's the real Kate <laughs> Meany. Yeah. I just want to hold say, on. If this is the, hold on. If this is the real Kate, uh, how how much is your asshole dilated right now? Right now, I would say it's about two to three inches That's because real of Kate. the circumference I just. That's took. the real Kate. That's proof. That's real Kate. <laughs> I wanted to let you know that I mean it doesn't count. The first time I had anal was because it was with my dad. He had a really small circumference. <laughs> That's how your dad got the love of assholes by sodomizing I you. I think it might have been my fault, yeah, because I put my asshole out there, you know, you know, cat stretch. If you don't put yourself out there, nobody will take it. Yeah, you just stretch with your butthole out, and then all of a sudden, a little circumference penis enters it. Okay. Like, I like it. Okay. I we, like it. Okay, we gotta. <laughs> Oh, thank you. Again, I'm Kate Meany. I'm the real Kate Meany. 
You're way too lively to be the real cake meanie. You know what I mean? Like you have way too much energy in your voice. One more time. Because I'll never get to play this song again. It was only good for today. If you missed it earlier, this is what we opened the show with today. The whole devil birds was in a big fat stall. And then Melton took a vacay and Chet felt real tall. Stevie Lou was cool. KB was mopping drooling. And everyone was talking shit about AC. They can't get me off. Money, liar, sodomy. I won the content lottery. It all started with my vacay. We're never going to get to play it again. So it's just for today. <laughs> Money liar sodomy. I won the content lottery. <laughs> ah, I love it. Okay. No, she's <laughs> <laughs> They're even making fun of her on there now. <laughs> Witty. I think she she brings a lot of boys to her yard. Uh, yeah, and yeah. damn right. They're better than uh, I don't know how that goes. But her back they're backyard. Cool. Uh, no. Kate, Kate, I do have to ask you a question since we have you here. What what the fuck were you doing on Chad Zumok's podcast today with Tony Mazur? Yeah, that Wait, was so weird. I mean, you could ask her what she's doing on any podcast, you know? Hello? Hi, this is Citizen M. <laughs> uh, I just wanted to call and say that I'm the original Kate. Okay. I think the bit's right. done. I think the bit's done. It always takes, you know, it always goes one too far. It always goes one too far. Wow, the comedy styling of Stevie Lou. <laughs> ah! Good writing, more songs. Please. I mean, I did that 30 minutes before the show today. It's not. It probably could be tightened up and improved. And there is actually a part of it. The uh, pacing was a little off, but I'm going to let it go. I, You know, for whipping it up, uh, jet lagged tired i you know i shouldn't even have done a show today you people don't deserve this you definitely haven't hit the goal i've come nowhere close to paying for this vacation i'll have you know that was creepy as fuck you cannot find chad attractive what why are you messing yeah, what, around and what doing are you this doing thing? what are you doing that, that yeah. guy i gotta call biggest, you uh, let her it, answer let her fucking it. answer jesus yeah, christ yeah. so this is when stevie lou started like simping for kate so as we've discussed already, Stevie Lou's been doing this show with these guys for years. And after Kate leaves, he starts simping for her, saying, like, don't put her name on this show. This was embarrassing for her. Like, don't don't put her name on it. And they all start fighting. Like, Quadfather's like, fuck you, I'm putting her name on it. And then Stevie Lou, like, quits BYB. And, you know, these are, like, supposed to be his boys. You guys obviously do not know how to listen. Imagine Kate telling you you don't know how to listen. Oh, we've actually well, shut like, up the entire time you've been here until mm -hmm. we just asked right. the first good question. You didn't say anything. Yeah. Well, tell, tell we just know how to listen. All right, well, tell, tell us I haven't said a Chad. fucking word since right, you started let, let, talking. Right. She's triggered. <laughs> She's triggered. Chad Zuma. She's triggered. She's triggered. Go. You're here. Triggered good as fuck. Yeah. You can be here He's if you want. He's a good friend, Kate. He's a good friend of mine. Kate, has he asked you for your credit card information yet? <laughs> If he does, do <laughs> not give it to him. You are so much better than this stupid show. You go on Kevin Brown. Oh. <laughs> so now she's telling Stevie he's she, he's so much better. I mean, does this chick need a dad or what? You know, almost as much as Chad. It's like she glommed onto Ray. Remember when she thought Ray was going to, like, protect her in AC? When she thought Ray was, like, a sentient being? And then she, like, glommed on to Kevin, and I think she very... I, I don't know. I think she still doesn't understand that Kevin doesn't give a fuck about anybody. Like, she still thinks, like, Kevin has her back. Because Kevin's like, she's grandfathered in. As far as I'm concerned, she's grandfathered in. She can be as dumb as she wants. Who cares if she's a tip drill? <laughs> but also, don't go anywhere in a car with him, because he's most likely going to be drunk and wreck, and you might get injured, so be careful of that. And then Chad... And then Stancil, and now Stevie Lou. So she just, she needs a man very, very badly. Hello. Hey, this is the quad father. Uh, can oh, you imagine, hey, buddy, uh, can you imagine fucking white knighting for someone like Kate Meany? 
and fucking I mean, Kevin Brennan sticking me, up for it. Let me ask you, because TV Lou is being very weird about this and won't answer. It's, what, is this a work? What's going on? No, it's not a work. Obviously, he hasn't been on any of the shows since that happened. I don't know what the fuck. I have, your, nowhere. I have so, your word. This is not a work. Right. And exactly. And uh, I don't know why it would matter if we put her name on it. Anyway, she was on the show. It's it's once again trying to erase history every time she does. And this something was your big show, right? Away. I mean, this is your biggest show by yeah. far, right? I mean, you blew up. Yeah, this, this is the uh, Suttering John episode. So we had two meltdowns in one episode. It's epic. For sure. Yeah, it's great. And I don't, and again, like you and Lemmy, uh, you know, people make fun of you guys, but you guys seem fairly normal to me. I get a lot of shit for it. I get shit for saying Stevie Lou's an, a normal guy, but Stevie Lou's lost me this week. I don't know what's going on. Yeah, he's lost all of us too, or respect at least. Uh, you, but definitely. You swear to God this is not a work. I, why would I swear to God? Jeez, you put me on the spot. That's nasty. You believe in God? Uh, you, I, you believe in God? Yes. Ugh. Yes weird huh gross yeah weird Does well he... you did too at one point it sounds like you said you grew up religious i did i watching did watching your vegetals i used did to bible quiz i used to do bible quizzing at my church we used to travel and quiz other churches teens <laughs> that, i mean that sounds like a fucking blast count me in it was it was a gay riot <laughs> oh was it like gay conversion church or what no i, I, said it was a I day, finished right it. that was before um all right oh, well okay. so so no. you and stevie lou don't talk no and how long were you friends and doing the show together before this happened probably nine ten months something like that so we haven't been years but okay but before i before i stumbled upon you you guys were already doing the show byb right and yeah, I mean, that's pretty much, we were like at 50 viewers before he came around. So that is not to say that he gave us a bump. That's not what I'm saying. That's so, not what it is. So I, he like, we were just starting he out. really was like sticking up for Kate Meany seriously. Like, like don't. Yes. Yeah. He, he went off screen for like 10 minutes. And when he came back with an ultimatum, that's exactly what happened. Cause that was, was who, who he was probably talking to when he was on the phone. He was probably talking to Kate. Right? Yes. Yes, 100%. I mean, she was on the phone when he came back. She was still on the phone. Ugh. So if they hook up in the near future, that would make me happy. Or her and Chad, anyone that would just, whatever, wreck that asshole. I hope they do. Wow. You want people to do to her asshole what God did to your legs. Exactly. Or worse. Okay. You want it to not work anymore? <laughs> <laughs> I mean, she's going to, yeah. people are going to be fucking her colostomy bag. <laughs> yeah. That hit, that hits a little on there, buddy. Sorry. Uh, all right. And, Anything and else? that Vox Celeste thing. Yeah. That Vox Celeste. Oh. I know your fingers are yeah, a little yeah, bit big to that? be Googling. Yeah. What is that? Uh, but yeah, it's, it's an interview she did back in December of 2019. And it's very revealing. She talked all about rehab and getting kicked out of her fucking uppity boarding school she went to and about her gay dad raising her and how how much of a travesty that was so, but, so it's uh, like she, chad like they have no content so they start spilling intimate details about their life because people people react to that like when chad talks about his stepfather and his dead brother and stuff because chad had nothing so he brought that stuff to everybody's attention and then when we talk about it he's like that's low like, how dare you? How dare you bring up my anal and my dead brother? And it's like, you did! When when you were getting likes for it, you liked it. But now that we think it's crass, it's how dare we. Right. Yeah, it's like when he goes live for 40 minutes and doesn't like hardly say any words. That's when he figures out that he has to talk about his personal shit. Right. Because he's not actually an interesting person, come to find out. Like you said about Same thing with Kate. Kate. Like, she, she has went, to talk about her mom went, or Dove. Or she has to reveal exactly. secrets about her relationships. Because when she has to go look inside of her brain, there's nothing there to be found. Just like you said, that was and well put. Who's going to want to be in a relationship with a chick who spills everything nonstop? Like, I mean, are you talking more than one night or? <laughs> um, I mean, even like texts and stuff. She's going to spill it all. She can't, she doesn't know the definition of privacy. This is the problem with 24 year olds too, who like kind of grew up with social media and stuff is like, they don't understand that like. This stuff don't go away. And you think you can erase you talking about anal off the internet, you idiot? <laughs> yeah, can you imagine the conversations Chad or Stevie Lou have while falling asleep to listening to Kate Meany's voice? 
Can you imagine anything worse than that? I can't. And I'm cutting you loose. Get out of here. Later. Um, new caller. New Hello. Call. Hi, Patrick. Gino had said on his show that uh, Stevie Lou's wife had intended to garnish his future earnings from MLC. He, Shouldn't someone break the news to her? You mean ganache? <laughs> I'm going to garnish. I'm going to ganache your future earnings. <laughs> There's going to be such a thin layer of chocolate over every penny you earn. Hello. Hi, Patrick. I just want you to know, check your email. Okay. Go. You go. Um, Chad hates Hawaii. Oh, is this it? Where he says I'm a loser? Or am I have a go? Okay, hold on. All right. Let me uh bring this up. This is in Dropbox. Uh we got we just got a communique. Someone has shared a file with you. Okay, let me put this up on the big board. I have no idea what this clip is. We're playing it blind. How do I make this full screen? Um, Weekend, dude. Uh, accept all cookies. Dude. Um, this weekend, I don't know. I'm probably watching a lot of football. Um, probably doing some stand-up, getting ready. Getting ready for the big gig in Atlantic City. I'm looking forward to it. Um, but, uh, yeah, that's, that's about it. I've actually been pretty good. Oh, I haven't eaten fast food. Haven't drank. Chad is this whole time watching. We were sniping him this whole time. He's just, he asked Tony what Tony's up to, but he, Chad is not listening to what Tony's up to. Watch this. Just watch Chad. What Chad's doing. You think he's listening to Tony weekend, dude. Um, this weekend, I don't know. I'm probably watching a lot of football. Um, probably doing some stand up getting ready getting ready for the big gig in Atlantic City I'm looking forward to it um but uh yeah that's that's about it I've actually been pretty good oh I haven't eaten fast food haven't drank since New Year's Chad asked what have you been up to and part of the answer is I haven't eaten fast food <laughs> Ginger in Vegas says Chad didn't hear anything after he knew the snipe was on yeah it was so funny it was so funny. It was one of those ones I couldn't talk. You know, it's I was just restreaming Chad's thing. But he lost his mind and lost the show from 25 minutes to 50 minutes. He just kept going, sorry, guys, I'm out of it today. Sorry, guys, I'm not really, I'm not really, fo I can't really focus today. Sorry, guys. Sorry, guys. The text on my head is backwards. Sorry, guys. Sorry, guys. <laughs> so I'm feeling pretty good with that. Really? Um, I, I, and this is the first year I actually don't miss. And what's crazy is like the text on his hat is backwards. It's not a mirrored image or anything. I mean, look at, look at the posters. Is it, is this a, is this some cool thing now? Like having a, a hat with backwards text on it. It's like he has two different colored eyes, you know? I mean, tell me that eye is the same as this eye. L look at him. <laughs> look at those. Tell me he's not like blind in one eye or something. Or is this, you know, I guess 50 year olds, I guess he could have cataracts. You know what I mean? Like it's a different eye. It's a totally different colored eye. <laughs> yeah, it looks like a glass eye. It's very weird. It's very weird. It's hard to tell because the glasses are so fucking scratched and foggy, but I mean, they're night and day different and it's not just glare or anything. I mean, look, look at it. This, this is in almost every video. You can find this. Good eye, Mike. <laughs> Good eye, Mike. So he's so upset. He wants Tony to carry the show. He's like, Tony, what do you got coming up? I'm busy reading Melton's chat miss drinking at all i would get to that point when you get around michael king day <clears throat> i mean martin luther king day michael king day and you would imagine listening to mazer mazer's like gino got me fired from radio i'm like yeah you would have been stern by now would it'd be like oh i could go for a drink i can 
and I see all my friends at the bar, and here I am drinking a liquid death. I don't miss it that much this year at all. Yeah. Like, I, I, can, I can go. Yeah. Yeah. Good stuff, Chad. I can go months without drinking. That's the one good thing that not having an addictive personality, I can go that much time without drinking, without eating fast food. Tony yesterday on this show, by the way, it's, it's like the everything opposite of Chad he was saying, and Chad was just going, yeah, yeah. Tony was like, I just don't like negativity. You know, these people who like watch other people's shows and just put them down and stuff. I don't need the negativity. It's not what I do over here. My podcast is a fun podcast. Check your brain. And then Chad was like, yeah, yeah, totally. Yeah, yeah. I hate, I hate guys who are like that too. It's like, Kumia's Cucks, Ray, Melton. It'd be like if I said that. Like, I don't really like to watch guys and point out their flaws. It's not really what we do over here at NLO. <laughs> Although when we're in Atlantic City, I'll probably go to Wawa a couple of times and <laughs> get. <laughs> That's what you got going on? When I go to Atlantic City, I'll be. <laughs> get, to, uh, get some booze, drink some, do some shots with Gino and Keanu and everybody. If you weren't aware of Melton is sniping you guys right now, who gives a fuck? Uh. Are you? Are you? Shut up, Chad. Like, okay. he, he's in Hawaii. It's like, your life sucks, dude. That's what I needed. That's what I needed. He's in Hawaii. It's like, your life sucks, dude. <laughs> your life sucks, bro. He's in Hawaii. It's like, your life sucks, dude. <laughs> as soon as he said it, he knew. As soon as he said it, he knew. He's like, oh, fuck, that's not going to make any sense. He's in Hawaii. It's like, your life sucks, dude. <laughs> you can't write it. You can't write it. <laughs> Did you mean to say prison? <laughs> I mean, it's Hawaii. Okay. He's in Hawaii. It's like, your life sucks, dude. <laughs> <laughs> They made five dollars dirt on that show. DK gave me fifty bucks on that show. DK alone gave me ten X what Chad made on the show with Mazer. And Chad has to split. And by the way, the five was from Kraut Cat. God bless. God bless. And Chad's not gonna like this, but you know, Kraut Cat's throwing fives left and right over here. Tori Queso, Quadfather earned mad respect for standing his ground on the Kate mess. I'm a little disappointed that Lemmy took the I wish everyone well fake positivity angle, but she's still a winner. I mean, look, it, it's like Chad and me. It's like Chad does Chad's mad, so he thinks I'm mad. I'm not. I'm not. Chad's literally trying, trying to, like, dox my wife and ruin my family. It's like. I'm not even mad about that. It's hilarious. Keep trying, stupid. <laughs> I I've been on the internet a long time. You're not going to hurt anybody. Keep going, dummy. Again, keep focusing on everybody but you, Chad. Uh, it's the path to success. One day, we're all going to go away, and you'll be the top dog. Ah, <laughs> uh, fuck. You, you just can't. You can't make Patrick, it up. Patrick, there is no God. I know. There is no Jesus. I know. The Holy Spirit is just the feeling I get when I play hide the scepter in my gray withered wizard sleeve. Whoa. Queen Please out. don't let these Christian faggots back on the show. Queen out. You can call me Nannerpuss, Nannerpuss. And guess what? I love Nannerpuss. You can call me Nannerpuss, Nannerpuss. And guess what? I love Nannerpuss. Melton's in Hawaii. His life sucks. Ah! If you're sn the sniping thing, it's starting to get funny now. It's starting to get good. I mean, it ruins your show every time. 30 minutes after this, he couldn't focus. It's been done, and you do it poorly. Um, Yeah, I don't know. I'm, I'm, I'm sorry. I'm going to eat better if, like the next two weeks coming up. I'm definitely going to. So Chad said a month ago that he was eating better and training for Atlantic City, but now it's uh, the next two weeks I'm really going to. I'm really going to get in shape. I heard Tukey say that Melton was getting in shape for Atlantic City. It's like, no, I'm not. 
I'm eating pancakes and sugar bombs. I fell Public off sandwiches, bit. whole food sandwiches, all them. So now Tony Mazur is bringing up the whole food sandwich thing. Where Chad got trespassed and almost arrested at a Whole Foods for stealing a sandwich. Tony Mazur now is bringing up trolling Chad essentially about his theft, about his record. And look at Chad. Look at Chad hate that. Sandwiches. I love sandwiches. <laughs> no, I'm just going to eat healthier the next two weeks. So Three, that'll turn it all around. No, you're not, Piggy. No, you're not. You're going to be a nervous wreck. Be Ramon Rivas talking about sandwiches. Oh, Jesus. What happened? Oh, my God. I forgot Ramon Rivas is from uh, Cleveland. What happened to that guy? <laughs> what happened to that guy? He lives in New York now. He's doing stand-up comedy. Remember? Remember stand-up comedy? Remember affording New York City, Chad? That's the funny thing with these comics that they just, they really come and go. Ramon Rivas is doing better than both of you at stand-up. What in the world are you talking about? I met Ramon over in Edinburgh, um, 2018. I mean, and then and I saw Ramon last year at the stand, or the year before that at the stand. Ramon Rivas is in New York City doing comedy. I, I, I know nobody knows who Ramon Rivas is, but it's funny that they're like, wow, these guys just flame out. It's like, uh... <laughs> Mazer much? <laughs> and uh yeah, there's there there Look at Chad. Look at Chad. The screen is not frozen. Chad is reading Melton's comments. The screen is not frozen. There's a couple of in the Cleveland area in Northeast Ohio that uh, they've they they tried to make a name for themselves. And they only they basically only tour when Doug Benson comes to town. Now Chad's typing. What do you think this is about? Oh yeah, when they so do they just talk about sandwiches and weed. Yeah. So, anyways, Mary's now is in uh, Atlanta. Uh, I'm sorry, in New York City now. She got passed at the stand. Yeah, I, I saw that actually. It makes sense. I mean, she knows like all those guys, like Patrick and everybody. Um, Patrick Melton? No, Patrick the Booker. Like a, <laughs> no, I'm just kidding. Like a legit dude. Um, I'm gonna check in on my old show. You want to take a look? Yeah, I was gonna, I was gonna, I was gonna ask you if I'm gonna watch my old show. You want to take a look? So we were laughing yesterday because we uh, somebody can make a super cut of that. You want to make something real funny that'll you you want to do a notice me senpai to me? Notice me senpai. Notice me. Make a video cutting together every time Tony Mazer and Chad said, "Remember, remember." Yesterday they pulled up old videos of themselves doing stand up. Pulled up old videos of themselves on the radio. Did did remember, remember about movies and TV. Like, this is that show. This is what their show is. Remember? 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 They have nothing going on now or in the future to look forward to. It's just remember? Remember? Whatever happened to remember? Remember? You guys want to see an old thing that I did? Remember? Same thing go to Chad's YouTube channel. He's got like 14 videos that he can't stop posting over and over again. The waiter sketch with Florentine. Don't worry if you missed it. It'll be up again in a minute. He can't stop posting it. He Go look at his YouTube channel. It's up nine times. The waiter sketch with Jim Florentine. He just keeps reposting it. In case you missed it. It's like the only way he can sustain hits on his channel is like to keep reposting old stuff he's done. Say whatever you want. I, I, I've never been putting more money and more resources into this program. I mean, I mean, we're putting out uh, reels every fucking day now on every platform. TikTok, Insta, Twitter, YouTube. I go, I go away from, on vacation and do more content than Chad. If you added up the intro to every one of those best dubs last week, it's more content than Chad does in his show. Enough reposting all this. Remember, remember, remember. We don't. We don't. So then they pull up Alan Cox and they're going to make fun of him. Like, this guy's still on the radio? It's like, you wish. You wish. Do you think, you know I'm right about this. Do you think Chad 
or or Mazer or Mooby wouldn't take a job in terrestrial radio tomorrow for 30k, they would. They would instantly. Thirty thousand dollars, and I can be on the radio and pretend to be a guy. Uh, you know, I'll, I'll be in the you know 240th market in the U.S., but people in my city will know who I am. I'll get honks, and I'll have my own bumper stickers around town. No, God is real. Trust in the Lord with all thine heart, and lean not unto thine own understanding. In all thy ways acknowledge him, and he shall direct thy paths. I forgot all about Kevin Brennan reading the Bible. Doesn't Mazer have a job in radio? No, no. He used to. Gino lost him his job. That's what he says. BYB just wants to remind you, don't forget, uh, don't Google Vox Celeste episode 63, Fat Fingers. Vox Celeste episode 63. We may look into that. We will look into that. Waver, let's hit that goal. And then Waver gives 99 cents, so that's very nice. Beloved Chatter, he quit his own show for Kate Meany. Got him. <laughs> Kevin Meany checking in. My princess is telling the truth. It was glorious. Oh, God. Mason in Portland, uh, 99 cent super sticker. And then BYB, by the way, you're invited to the BYB meetup, Mr. Melty. Where is that? Send me an official invite, please. I would love to see. You, If you want to play that uh, clip I sent you the other day of Bill. Oh, Jesus. That was brutal. And uh, Pound Cake will be taking a poll in which you can tell him what his I will be. Ooh, like next gen. Here you go. I like how Bill got his hair cut just like Alan's. Um, Bill Squire. Piazza. Bill has joined ISIS. <laughs> no, Bill is look at, a look, of ISIS. Look, he has the matching sh- hair. That's embarrassing. What is going on? Like, he has to copy the Bear haircut? Of ISIS. And you can uh, join my team in a couple of weeks, uh, and we will be ahead of the competition. Mm-hmm. You hope. What if you lose? He, how come he, he still hasn't figured games. out how to broadcast? We play, it's going to be hard to lose. You want- these guys are so mad that they don't have radio jobs anymore. It it really is a, it something it does something to their personalities. Mazer, Mooby, and and uh, Chad Zumark. Now I, I know people aren't gonna like this, but I'm not even gonna entertain any other pr- prospect than this. Aaron M. Holt is far more talented. Than both Mazer and Chad Zuma, he just is. For, for for whether it's good or bad, it doesn't really matter. For all intents and purposes, Mooby can do a cornball terrestrial radio program and nail it. Chad would not be able to do this. Never forget, Chad was never a radio guy. He was always a third fiddle. He was always man on the street. He was always a clown they would send out to do little bits like Stuttering John. It was never the Chad Zumach program where he's in studio talking. No, they brought him in studio to arm wrestle a girl. They brought him in studio to to do a wacky monologue. They sent him out on the street to do man on the street guard. Like, that's what Chad was. He was never the guy in studio telling you how it is. So he couldn't do that if his life depended on it. At least Mooby could do that. But there's something that happens where all these guys leave that space and they're so fucking desperate to get it back, but they have to pretend like they're not. You know, we watched Mooby go through this over and over and over every iteration, like, fuck terrestrial radio, we're building something better, we're not held back anymore, finally we can grow worldwide, yada, yada, yada. And now it's swinging back the other way. We got to get back to be on radio. There's no growth potential on the internet. People really miss us on terrestrial. Uh, We're trying to get back on terrestrial. You know, that movie's being honest. He he wants the paycheck. He wants the steady paycheck. Chad and Mazur, if you offered them a $30,000 radio hosting gig tomorrow, they'd take it. Chad would give up touring stand-up comedy for 30 k a year. I promise you. I promise you. It'd be a lot more than he makes doing stand-up. That's a fact. That's a fact. You'll never find out from Chad what he makes from stand-up. I try to tell you guys. You don't believe me, but I try to tell you how small it is. Nobody believes me. Nobody believes me. BYB Meetup is uh, April 8th, 2024, Sydney, Nova Scotia, Canada. 
No thanks. Um, I don't know. Put together a package and send me an offer. We'll see. We'll see. And it's a long way. I literally like, no. <laughs> Probs not. Um, I got a lot of traveling anyway this year to do. I got I got stuff in February, I got stuff in March. It's gonna be. I'm going to Florida in March. Ooh. Don't even get me started. And then in April, I'm supposed to uh, go to Nova Scotia. And then in May, I'm supposed to have a meet up here. I can't keep up. Nova Scotia. Um, sorry, back to you. Won last year, yeah, yeah. yeah. Bill, you've been on the radio uh, sorry, for there 12 it is, years. February the 23rd. It's not far off. Uh, so register. Jesus Christ. That's what you're missing. That's what you're missing. This is what Chad, uh, f- both uh, KB and Chad do. Like, oh, God, it's so bad. It's like, you brought it up. You brought it up, then didn't let us see it, and then you took it off and go, oh, it's so bad. It's like, then why'd you? <laughs> missing, folks, when you're watching all these podcasts. KB does the thing, too. He's like, oh, Melton stops it and pauses and interjects all the time. It's like, yeah, it's my show. I'm going to watch it or don't. I'm going to be interjecting and pausing and interjecting. Kevin's like, that's stupid. Do it how I do it. Watch the whole thing straight through five times in three hours. (laughs) It's like, yeah, that's much, much better. Play it again, KB. Yeah, play it again, KB. Yeah, play it again, KB. Yeah, play it again, KB. And you're donating your super chats and subscribing to Patreons, like the Check Your Brain podcast on Patreon at patreon.com slash Tony Mazer. You're either missing that or regular radio, where you have commercials and then you have to watch what you say. Here we go. Let's get the scroll going, baby. There- <laughs> That's what the show is missing. That's what was missing. By the way, uh, it's all for replay. You can go watch it on Chad's channel. As soon as he found out Melton was sniping, he locked his chat down to members only. As soon as he found out Melton was sniping. It's like, whoa, whoa. Why? Ugh, I didn't like the ratio. Melton just constantly ratios me and, uh, <laughs> stupid Melton. Anyway, I'm back, Chad. Good luck. Good luck. And by the way, El Horrible, we need to get this Chad Sniping Network off the ground officially. Let's get it off the ground. The Chad Sniping Network. Um, I've got to put I gotta put some resources into that. And we're gonna let everyone have a key to it. And that way, Chad just gets sniped. He'll never, ever, ever be able to go live without getting sniped. Facts, facts. He had a nice week. Chad puffed up really big. He had a nice week. Melton took a vacay and Chad felt real tall. One more time. The whole devil verse was in a big fat stall. And then Melton took a vacay and Chad felt real tall. Stevie Lou was cool. KB was mopping drooling. And everyone was talking shit about AC. off. Money liar sodomy. I won the content lottery. It all started with my vacay. Hey! There it that's, is. That's going to work. <laughs> that's going to work. That's going to work. Uh, I've heard of this pound cake personality. Yeah, I never yep. met that guy. I, I, he's a nice guy. He's just, he's a gay. His- he's so proud of it. Uh, hey, look, it's the only thing I could whip up today to have like a new thing. Let me have it. Let me have it. Can I just have it? Music blows. Shut up. <laughs> Hispanic dude, I guess. That's about uh, it. That's why he he has the show. So it's you're you're checking a DEI box. Are you afraid? By the way, speaking of DEI, are you afraid of getting on planes with all these plane disasters? That <laughs> I'm not kidding you. I'm not kidding you. Um, that <laughs> Mazer's like entire personality is Kumia's Twitter. Kumia had just tweeted about this and something else that he brought up. And that's how I know. Like, literally, this dude is just, like, on Kumia's Twitter. It's his whole personality. It's his whole personality. He just said, are you afraid of getting on planes with all these bolts missing? It's like one one flight that didn't even take off. It didn't even make it in the air. (laughs) Yeah, I'm afraid to get on planes. 
Hey, Mazer, live your whole life like that. This is a guy who's going to drive from Ohio to AC to make no money and hang out with Gino. Didn't Gino lose Mazer his job? And Mazer said, I can't wait to do shots with Gino. Am I wrong? I thought that I thought that Gino caused Mazer to lose his job. Am I wrong? There's bolts missing and doors are getting blown off. No. You're not afraid you're still going to fly across the country? I mean, yeah. I mean, I've been flying forever. He's not going to fly across the country. <laughs> He's going to fly up to AC. There's, there's nothing past Alabama for Chad. He's never flying across the country he goes to new york he goes to ohio he goes to new york he goes to ohio forever it's like <laughs> like, it, like i don't know like mazer's afraid to fly <laughs> he's like aren't you getting scared to fly yeah 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 i mean it's yeah it's not even a worry i don't even think about it well i'm, I'm noticing this because you have the united C yeah i think it was united the CEO who's been pushing a lot of this DEI stuff is also a drag queen. So, of course, you know, it, is it more important that your passengers get to their destination or that you can talk about um, drag queen story time for children? And apparently they decide that the latter is more, much more important. It's like these, these, like, you know, they're like robots. You know what I mean? Like, if there's news, there's news. But it's like, are you doing the drag queen story hour thing again? This was like <laughs> 2021. Then also you have the um, certain uh, individuals fighting at airports. So I'm wondering if there's a big conspiracy theory with plane disasters. They're flying too close. There's crashes. There's, you know, grounded planes. Where are the cra What crashes? What are you talking about? if it's because they're trying to push some kind of climate change measure. I mean, he's been reading all these like Klaus Schwab conspiracy theories and stuff. They eat the bugs. No more fights for plebs. That they're going to try to have something to get normal people to say, mm -mm, nope, not taking a flight, not taking that Boeing 757 anymore. Uh, there's going to be problems. There's DEI. There's all this stuff. I'm just going to drive. I'm going to uh, stay home. I'm going to do a staycation. That's what I'm wondering if there's a conspiracy theory along with that. Imagine listening to Mazer. <laughs> That's what I've been wondering. In case you're wondering what I've been wondering, here's what I've been wondering. I uh, love the song, Melton. Thanks for coming back. People, it's mixed feelings on it. I'm fine with that. You know, I just like to whip up some fun things for you people every now and then. Uh, Manchiti, Manchiti. In the beginning, good always uh, overpowered the evils of all man's sins. But in time, the nations grew weak and our cities fell to... to uh, slums while evil stood strong in the dust of hell lurked the blackest of hates for he whom they feared awaited them now many many lifetimes later lay destroyed beaten down only corpses of rebels ashes of dreams and blood uh, stained streets <laughs> it has been written those who have the youth have the future so come now, children of the beast, be strong and shout at the devil. Shout at the devil. <laughs> Hit the like button. You coward. Yeah, I don't know. I mean, I'm, I just. Chad's answer is, yeah, I don't. He went on and on about four different things. DEI, um, uh, uh, conspiracy theory to get poor people not to fly. Chad's, Chad's reply is going to be. Yeah, I don't, I don't know, man. I'll, I'll fly. <laughs> Chad cannot think past, like, a, you know, a base level of understanding anything. I just pulled up this New York Post article. It says, United Airlines, wait, flight to New York canceled after pilot arrested for taser found in luggage. A taser? It has nothing to do with what Tony was talking about. Yeah, I just Googled United Airlines and this came up. Uh... <laughs> Found a taser in his luggage. Wow, Chad, that's some show prep. Isn't that what air marshals usually have tasers? I've seen that in movies. Yeah, I just saw a movie. Uh... Holy shit. 
Holy shit. Isn't that usually air marshals? That's what I see in movies. Yeah, I just saw a movie. Go on, Chad. Uh, I just saw a movie. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Holy shit. Go on. Where Liam Neeson played an air marshal. <laughs> Holy shit. I just saw a movie. There yeah, it's, <laughs> it just goes nowhere. Nobody knows what to say to that. It's video. You <laughs> Watch them both try to recover after that. Watch this. They both try to talk two times because that's such a dud. Luggage. Isn't that what air marshals usually have tasers? I've seen that in movies. Yeah, I just saw a movie uh, where Liam Neeson played an air marshal. First time. There, yeah, uh, it's video. Second time. Him, you should play it. Let me check out this American guy. He's a drag queen. <laughs> Tony's just looking off in the distance now. I wonder if there's a cat I can go save from a tree. Queen? Yeah, uh, United Airlines, yeah. Yeah, apparently he's a drag queen who, who's been performing, I don't know, drag stuff. <laughs> and they're saying the CEO of United Airlines is a drag queen that goes out and performs. I. You don't even have to, like, be smart. To know that's probably not true. Just run it through your head and go, the CEO of an airline has time to dress up as a drag queen and go out nights and do drag shows. Probably not, right? Probably not. I mean, maybe I'm maybe I'm really wrong on this one, you know? I'm not saying I'm not saying it's impossible. I'm saying just using my brain, I'm gonna say that cannot be true. That cannot be true. We're, I mean, what? But let's see. I mean. <laughs> uh, this guy. Pull that uh, shit up, Jamie. Send Jamie. Him a link. This is going great. I was just listening to Joe Rogan with Joey Diaz. And, and, yeah, and a movie and a podcast? Um, I can't find the video. I don't know. I don't know what I'm doing. I can't find it. I can't find it. I've never been to nothing but cakes. Um, what is going on? They just keep changing topics. What was that? No, I'm just reading Lance's chat. I, For no reason. I have not oh. been to nothing but cakes. Oh. <laughs> 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 was that really melton uh i think so yeah he's a fucking loser <laughs> i think i wrote in their chat uh will this be up later chad googling things will this be up later and he's like yeah what a loser and now they're going to scream for their mod. Bill in Jersey, where is he? Get him out of here. Who's our admin today? Uh, Bill from Jersey. I don't know where he's at. <laughs> What's going on, Bill? See you he's soon. Like, go, he's not there. <laughs> go Raiders. Karate practice. Maybe he's at the gun range firing his weapon. Sick, Chad. You know? All I guess built. they were saying that there's a lot of Jews who are going to the gun ranges right now because of ever since October 7th, you're seeing a lot of Jewish people getting their licenses and going. It's, like he re it, it's all Kumia's timeline. We've already abandoned the cross-dressing CEO of United Airlines that I'm sure is not true. Going to the gun range. So it's, it's kind, of, kind of interesting. <laughs> you're going to see a lot of the Hasids at the, <laughs> the gun. He's trying to say since October 7th, which I think was the day of the palestinians attacking the israelis or whatever he's saying like yeah ever since then there's been a lot of jews down at the gun range what in the fuck is going on like what is going on like this doesn't even make sense gun range where do you get your news right <laughs> right all this shit. <laughs> right it's kumia's timeline i gotta go there's no way the ceo has time to cross-dress
CEO United Airlines cross dresser. Scott Kirby, the CEO of United Airlines, is facing backlash after a video of him dancing while dressed as a drag queen resurfaced online. Recently, the 56-year-old was heavily criticized for a 2021 interview where he explained his company's diversity initiatives. Okay, so it is true, but this is from 2021. <laughs> so it is true. He's a... Hold on. Somebody said United Airlines CEO is a cross-dressing freak. Whoa. Is this Tony Mazer? Apparently this is him. Scott Kirby. So holy shit. It is the CEO of United Airlines. And remember, Chad is a United, you know, guy. He only flies United. Chad only flies United. So I guess this is Scott Kirby, CEO of United Airlines. Look at this. <laughs> Look at this. It's true. It's true. I would have never thought this was true, but I can admit when I'm wrong. Holy shit. Whoa. Whoa. I'm a genie in a bottle. You got to rub me the right way. I'm a big United snob. I'm a big United snob. Not bad for 56 years old, huh? Hubba hubba. United Airlines proudly does drag for first time ever for Pride Month. Three United Airlines flight attendants left to right uh, helped liven up Sunday's drag brunch. Oh, no. It's Pride Weekend in Denver. United's proud to sponsor Denver Pride. What are these companies doing? Like, what do you get out of, like, speaking out about any of this? What do you get? What do you get out of that? Like, as a company, I wouldn't, you know, people go like, How, what's your stance on gay pride? I'd be like, we, we, we're a restaurant, so we don't. We comment about gay pride just like we comment about uh, endangered elephants. We don't really. It's not our purview. And so imagine being an airline and just deciding you were going to let your flight attendants dress up like drag queens. It's like. You shall probably get backlash from weird, you know, closeted people and xenophobic types that. Don't want anything to do with that. I'll just tell you from a guy, you know, if you ever been down to that Hamburger Mary's place, we're going to get out of here too in a minute. So last chance for your, get your uh, calls in or your stupid chats. I'm going to call them stup stupor chats. <laughs> um, uh, I, I, my friend took me to this Hamburger Mary's place. I'm not kidding. It's just annoying. I, I got nothing against the gays. I, I'm i not hanging out in a gay-themed place. I'm not. That's not what I look for in my burgers. And you're sitting there trying to eat your burgers, and there's a drag queen coming up to you, putting a mic in your face, rubbing on you jiggling and like in your face like while you're eating and it's like i like i wouldn't like this if it was a straight hot woman i'm trying to eat it's just a nightmare i i, I don't get it like and by the way that's the stuff that makes people hate that shit and then people go like wow people have a lot of feelings and energy around gays it's like i have a I have a thing about annoying motherfuckers and i'm sorry but the gays tend to be annoying as fuck I don't know why I went. Somebody, uh, somebody. I think I went to the one in Tampa. Somebody took me, but I would never have gone to the one in West Hollywood when I lived there. Forget about it. I don't think I understood what it was. I thought the waitresses were just like, no, there's a show, and they jiggle and grind on you while you're eating, and they sing, and they put microphones in your face. 
And they're smarmy, too. They'll come up and eat a fry or, like, it's just like, get the fuck away from me. It has nothing to do with you being gay. That does make it way more gross. <laughs> you know, there was a study that was just released. For, for straight men, watching two, two men kiss is the same uh, brain activity as uh, watching maggots. That's what this study said. They said that when, it, when a straight man sees... Gay men kiss, it lights up the same part of their brain as when a straight man looks at maggots. <laughs> Yikes. Yikes. Did you get macadamia nuts? Yeah, I had coffee with macadamia milk. I had chocolate-covered macadamia nuts. I had them all. I had them all. So anyway, like, look, you, you can... You can do whatever you want, but I can also, I can't stop what parts of my brain light up when I see disgusting shit. So, um, yeah, I'm out. I'm out of that gay stuff. It's too much. It's like the gay parades. It's like, I don't, I'm not against them because, uh, I hate gay people or stuff. It's just like, it's annoying that all those pride parades and shit was like, you know, to get gay gays recognized and, and equal and stuff. It's like, okay, it's all legal now. Even Australia has come on board. <laughs> Can we knock off the parades? It's like, no, I got to wear thongs and pasties and, you know, also just the color scheme. It's just gross. The rain, the rainbow is disgusting looking. It's a, it's not a good palette to work with. There's a Hamburgers uh, Mary's here in San Diego. I want to go there to see the talent. Please live stream. Please live stream. Anyway, gays are gross, and uh, don't come around here with that stuff. Keep it in your pants. Hit the like button. Tell a friend about it. It's good to be back from Hawaii. Doing a refresh on everything, like movie at the end here, just to make sure I don't miss anything. Seems good. I'm not missing much stuff. Okay, sounds good. Joey Catalano background check. The most updated Joey Catalano background check. Um, the criminal record side. And it, hold on. What? How do I open this? Joey Catalano background check. Is this every... Um, what the fuck? Who had this commissioned? It's like every one of his family members. Whoa! Possession of paraphernalia, 8-9-2022. Resisting an officer without violence, 8-9-2022. Proof of insurance required. Does that mean he didn't have that while driving? 4-29-2022. Guilty and proper or unsafe equipment. 5 5 2021. This is probably is a crappy car. Guilty, unlawful speed, 70 mile per hour zone. 8 13 2014. Driver failing to wear a seatbelt. 10 2013. Fugitive from justice. 9 2013. Obtaining property in return for worthless check. So check fraud. 6 2013. Operating a vehicle without insurance. 12 2012. That's Chad got that too. Uh, Description unavailable. (laughs) Description unavailable. Description unavailable. Improper tag. Unlawful speed. Driving while license suspended, like Chad. Um, Jesus Christ. Careless driving. Bogus check again. Bogus check again. Um, Speeding. Bogus check again. Every year he's got like bounced uh, fraud checks. Not f- not checks that bounced, bogus checks, fake checks. We're t- I'm talking catch me if you can, Pan Am stickers off the airplane in the bathtub, making checks. Bogus check, 2007, 2006, multiple in each year. DUI drugs, uh, toxic vapor or combination, DUI drugs or metabolite. DUI drugs or metabolite. Again, these are months apart. DUI liquor, drugs, vapor. Again, these are 
Uh, violations, road, laned for tr- trespassing, domestic battery, domestic battery, misdemeanor battery, child resist- restraint violation. So he's driving kids around without car seats. Whatever a 720 is, somebody looked that up. Possession of a controlled substance, theft, forgery. This is longer than Chad's. We're back to 1990 now. Possible controlled substance, found guilty, uh, armed violation, category one weapon, violation of probation. We're in 89. Possession of a controlled substance, um, 3824-1A10, whatever that is. This is all in Chicago. W846109. These are all codes. Possession of cannabis. Possession of narcotics. Narcotics again. This is in eight, this is in it says 1911. <laughs> That's gotta be a mistake. 3811, but it says 1911 in the system. I mean, holy shit. Holy shit. It's pretty rough out there for a Joey C. And he, now he's pretending to be in the hospital. What are they, Him and his dumb bitch just literally Tom Sawyering it up in the rafters looking down like, let's see if they buy it that I'm in the hospital. Let's see if they buy it. These fucking idiots in the Dabbleverse, they'll feel bad when I'm gone. They'll miss me when I'm gone. We won't. Your manner is most unbecoming of a gentleman. Would you be high on cigarettes? I don't know if the comedy hasn't hit them yet. They're full-blown retarded or just high on cigarettes. The question posed to stupid hoes who don't get it yet. Excuse me, miss. Are you high on cigarettes? I don't know if the comedy hasn't hit them yet. They're full-blown retarded or just high on cigarettes. All the laughter that you did for you. If you listen to the show, boy, Patrick Melton, Melton faces. Have you stacking that no low point? It's the low point, not the reason. The reason is fucking gold. It'll make the taco pony party be a party of soul. to make you vandalize a van with a pedal sticker. So bold the family probably get arrested before they get down the road. A stupid motherfuckers just got N. Alone, other radio shows are straight bitch male prone. Talk shit on the onions that nobody like. Pass, have my homeboy lame prank call him fast.